Hello. Hello, my fellow Hello Tacoians. Welcome to your launch. That's right. This is not my launch. Oh no, this is your launch. This is not Menchie's launch. This is your launch. We're here for you. We are gathered here today for Hollow Royalty. It's the greatest launch of them all. Welcome everyone. Welcome to our moderators. They are incredible, amazing beings. Welcome to the Menchie gang members. Menchie is here. She is decked out. She's looking good. Menchie, say hi. A clap for Menchie, please. Menchie's here. Mm. Looking fabulous and royal as always. She's there in her royal fit. Her little princess dress, if you recall. She wore that in a video like seven years ago. <laughs> Iconic Menchie. Good job, good job. Mm. Okay, what about me? What about my fit? Hold on. What do we think? What do you think? Regal as fuck. Yes, that's my middle name. <laughs> okay, anyways. Yes. The room is purple. My crown is purple. My cape is purple. Menchi is purple. The nails are mostly purple because purple is the theme of Hollow Royalty's launch. You guys demanded purple, you wanted purple, so that's what we got. So welcome on in everyone. It's time for the Hollow Taco Royalty debut trio launching today. Nail polish designed by you guys. You voted on it, you had thoughts on it, you, you named them. So we're gonna go over all that about how this came to be and I'm really excited because this is such a different and special launch. And uh, you guys said purple please, purple let's go. And so here we are, doing purple. So launching at 11.30 a.m. Eastern in 23 minutes from now, if you're watching live, if you're watching later, shout out to the VOD squad. What's it like in the future? Let us know in the comments below. But yeah, that's what we're doing. As a friendly reminder, my moderators are not Holo Taco customer service. If you need help, please email support at holotaco.com. Uh, my moderators are here to help with stream stuff. So in the live chat, and you can chat in the chat by subscribing to this channel. It's free to subscribe, not the same thing as a member, but you just have to be subscribed as to help prevent bots. And then you can chat and you can participate and talk to everyone. And oh my God, what did Ventendo just do? Ben, <gasps> Ben just gifted 50 Menchi Gang memberships. I have to say that 50 times. Menchi Gang, Menchi Gang, Menchi Gang, Menchi Gang, Menchi Gang. Okay, thank you so much, Ben. Oh my God, everyone's royal today. We're just giving out gifts. Oh my God, what the fuck? Okay. Thank you everyone using your member chats as well. Menchie Gang members get a free highlighted member chat per month. Thank you, Susan. Looking royal as fuck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sienna, for the super chat. Well, purple is the royal color, so it only makes sense. That's right. This is the first Hollow Royalty launch we've done, the first time we're doing this. Ben is king. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, he's using that royal money to buy you guys memberships. He's le, le petit prince. Merci, Benjamin. Benjamin. D'accord. On y va. Merci beaucoup, tout le monde. I'm French royalty now, apparently. <laughs> okay. Um, shout out to the warehouse. Shout out to customer service at Holo Taco. Shout out to everyone on the Holo Taco team in advance of a chaotic day of website visitation. We need a big round of applause for everyone at Holo Taco. Woo! Thank you, thank you all, thank you very much. It is because of you that these people will get their nail polish in their hands. 
Yo, my crown falls as I clap. <laughs> this is what happens when you buy jewelry on Amazon, okay? Whatever. It's my style. I don't mind. I have a little crooked crown. It's all good. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to everyone whose birthday it is in the chat. <laughs> okay. In 21 minutes, you will able you will be able to purchase. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Speaking of the warehouse, orders start shipping on Monday. So please, please note, orders start shipping and being fulfilled on Monday. But the sale starts in 20 minutes. The sale starts now. Thank you guys for using your member chats. I'm sorry I won't be able to read them all at the moment, but I appreciate you guys are hyping it up. Royalty, let's go. Okay, two big things are happening today that you need to know about. One, in 20 minutes is our Holo Royalty Trio launch. You've already seen enough teasers, but okay, I'll show you some more. Okay, the trio of new polishes designed by Holo Royalty. That's a lot of you guys. You voted on this way back in September and then again in December. And so we're launching these three trio of new polishes created by you. Custom cartons as well. They have a little crown on the side and they are all limited edition. So the new polishes are limited edition. Can we have a poll? We'll do a poll in a sec. That's the first thing that's happening. The second thing that's also happening because you're welcome, I'm putting the events together for your own shipping needs. We're also doing our first huge holo loyalty sale. So that's customers who are in our loyalty program. That's the rewards program on holotaco.com. So depending on your tier of customer, then you get a sale discount commensurate with your tier. So the higher your existing tier, then the higher your discount. And you you can shop the entire website minus new products <laughs> but like everything else on the store everything you've been wanting to stock up on glossy tacos those whatever linear hollows you were after the barista bundle uh cleanup brushes whatever it is you were looking for you will get a discount in cart it's there's no code it's in cart once you're logged in to your account and it will recognize whether you're Hollow Swatcher, Explorer, or sorry, Explorer, Swatcher, or Royalty, then you will get a discount in cart. So two things happening at once. You can get the three new Hollow Royalty limited edition polishes, and you can shop whatever else on the website that is on sale with your personalized discount. So there you go, doing both. We're doing it all, we're doing it both. You're welcome for all the international customers out there who are like, please combine events. I was like, I got you, I got you this time. Don't worry about it. What's this? Ben put Christine as queen. Thank you, Ben. Ben is in charge of that up there. Thanks, Ben. This is the big update coming in from our store. Christine is queen. Okay, got it, noted. <laughs> wait, wait, before anything else, do you have your tea? It's tea time. Mm. Facts. We got big facts today. Okay, what I would like to do is do things a little bit differently this time than a normal launch stream. There's always chaos though, there's always chaos. That is not changing. But first I would like to tell you the story of the Royalty Custom Polish before the launch happens in 17 minutes. So you can see how it came to be and for those who participated in it, you can kind of see how we got here. So I'm gonna do that right now and then I'll show you the polishes because I feel like the polishes have already been spoiled. Who was that? <laughs> Definitely not me. So what up? Okay. Hello Royalty debut. The first thing you need to know is uh, who is Hollow Royalty? If you go to holotaco.com and you click rewards, then if you're logged in, you will see what tier you are. But essentially, Holo Royalty is the top tier of our customer program, our loyalty program on holotaco.com, and they get exclusive input. Mm, Holo Royalty members will have exclusive input on future products. That's what this is. Today is the day of the future product release. 
So big shout out to all these customers in Hollow Royalty. They are some of our most loyal and dedicated customers and we wanted to give them something more than just like bonus shit or whatever. I wanted to give them exclusive input into designing their custom polish. So that's how this all came to be. We launched our rewards program last summer and here is the first result from it in terms of exclusive input for their Hollow Royalty polish of the year. The output of the input, We're do this is the data. The input was this, and oops, that's not the output. <laughs> this is the output. <laughs> so let's watch a little story. Okay, the first survey was disseminated in September of 2022, where we first asked Hollow Royalty members, who were Hollow Royalty at that time, what the heck they wanted. If they could design their dream polish, what would they want? So we asked them what type of formula, we gave them all the options, what type of special effects, like different glitters, iridescent, what type of color do you want? And if you pick a color, what tone of that color do you want? Like if you picked purple, do you want muted, pastel, medium, bright, dark? We got all the data as reasonably as possible as we could. And a uh, big surprise, the largest proportion of people asked for purple out of all the colors available to ask for. And that was like by a landslide. And then when we uh, digged down, we did a subset of the data. Okay, where's the data queens and kings in the chat? Go on, let me hear you, data. Say data in the chat, if that's your, your hobby, if you're like, I'm a freak for the data. <laughs> Everyone is shocked that these were the results. Absolutely not shocked at all. But okay, under purple, if you pick, if you do subset and you do purple, and then you do one of the most voted for formulas, and then you do tone, you get something that looks like this. We got a lot of people looking for frosted metal that were bright and purple. We got a lot of people asking for a hollow glitter that was medium or bright. And then we got a lot of people asking for a pink, linear holographic that was muted or pastel. They were pretty close. But your choices were clear. And in terms of formulas overall, there was a lot of support for linear hollow, hollow glitter, and frosted metal were tied there as well. So we know what kind of formulas you guys like, and we know what kind of colors you guys wanted. And apparently we learned that most people thought their nail polish was like cake or like Taylor Swift or Lady Gaga. Very important data points that definitely went into production. Yes, these were one of the top priorities considered by the lab in the development of your polishes. So thank you so much again for contributing this data. Highly valuable. What, what will we do without it? <laughs> As a result of all the data, I put together a mood board that summarized just some of the high level, interesting kind of color combinations that we could do. But remember, we were only making one polish. That's it. The goal of this was to make one custom polish. So a mood board was only really just to tell the lab, take it in all of these directions, but we're only gonna pick one because that was step one. That's phase one. Phase two, part two of the custom input survey is we developed a bunch of prototypes and then followed up with Hollow Royalty in December of last year and said, okay, here you go. Here's six prototypes based on your initial data and we would like you to evaluate them and then vote which one you want. We had you vote on whether or not we nailed it in terms of if you like the, the prototypes we created. We gave you gifts, we gave you some video, we gave you so many different ways to vote. We said, if you had to choose one, which would it be? Okay, data people, think of all the ways we could ask for <laughs> voting. There was which one, if you had to pick one, choose. There was rank, if you had to rank them, what's your first choice to your sixth choice? And then there was, if you could purchase all of them, please check all that would apply that you would actually purchase. Please be as honest as possible because we're not doing data for shits and giggles here. So we're doing it for real. Okay, so three different methods of asking you guys to essentially vote, which means that the data was not that clear. The, the data was, um, I'll explain in a second, but it, there was a, it was a lot going on, okay? We also, regrettably, asked you for shade names. There was some, some real ones in there, okay? Like, what is goat, goat, goat? What is goat milk? What is goat fantasy? Why? This is the problem. 
Okay, this- my boss is- is screaming at me right now. She says, Christine, qualitative data has so many fucking issues. Don't you know? This is why, Christine. <laughs> quantitative data only when you're dealing with so many people. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so... <laughs> Grandma's hair or grandma's couch. Actually, that's the shade name. Yes, it's it's to be revealed. What about grainy static? Great job guys. Keep it up <laughs> uh, And then there was more on discord. What is this? We're sorry Christine give orange a try Undecided difficult decision. Sorry. My phone died. What are these shade names? Unofficial shade names of the simple and illogical discord you can join just put exclamation discord in the chat and you will find my discord which is absolutely full of chaos i will not be held liable for any chaos you may come upon in the simply analogical discord server okay based on the dream polish color and composition requests that you hollow royalty submitted to us back in september september october whatever <laughs> we asked people how close the prototypes were and 90 percent of people who voted in the second survey said that they love the prototypes or we nailed it or they were pretty close so big round of applause that the prototypes generally satisfied what they were asking for or that they liked because let me remind you statistically it's it is actually impossible to satisfy every single person's vote or wish or want or need but you know we aim to do as much as we can And then ultimately we compiled the data, we looked at the data and we used different methods and considerations and contextualized the data so that it wasn't just about numbers. For example, okay, the purple frosted metal PF2, clear winner, clear, clear winner on all accounts, okay? Like every single survey type option, every single methodology we asked, purple frosted metal outpaced the rest, very clear, easy. Do you want to know what was the clear loser? <laughs> the clear loser was the green. <laughs> and the data said so in each of the methods. It said it in the, which one would you pick if you could only pick one? It was the least indoors. It said it in the, in the last one, which I thought was the most important, which, which was which would you reasonably or honestly buy? And it was the least indoors of people purchasing. Now, wait a second. Okay, green lovers, it's okay, it's okay. This is the first annual Hollow Royalty survey. The choice was clear. It was gonna be a purple theme, but that doesn't mean that we're never gonna do green polishes. Don't worry, I have some plans for you. But for now, we would like to celebrate the inauguration of this beautiful, beautiful, I just said beautiful, cause I'm thinking of purple. Beautiful purple frosted metal that needed to exist. And as far as the other ones, the, the LP2, this one was, um, very on par with some of the other ones. It was like purple frosted metal on top, green frosted metal on the very bottom, and then everything else was kind of in the middle. So we had to really dig in and try and consider like what the data said, but also didn't want to come out with ones that were too close to each other because we really wanted people to feel like they got a little bit of everything in this launch as much as possible since the data was less clear in the middle. Yeah, purple, um, the crushed hollow, people didn't really vote for it that much, which makes me sad, but you guys saw later, hollow barista, how much you love crushed hollow. So maybe you regret your voting decisions. I don't know. Maybe next time, think a little harder when you vote. <laughs> and so as a result, these beautiful new polishes were created by hollow royalty. And I cannot stress em enough how fun it was to do this with you guys, to give you guys surveys, to have you vote on it, to see your, appreciation your excitement everything in the chat in the discord on my official facebook group wherever in hollow taco instagram comments wherever it is you guys were so excited and you made a purple frosted metal come into existence you're right i'm wrong i don't know why i never released a purple frosted metal until now but it's here and the names guys you name them look at the names okay <laughs> the polishes are royal crush purple frosted metal who everyone has a crush on Glamethyst, named by you guys. <laughs> and Toe Beans, also named by you guys. Toe Beans had like so many people write Toe Beans in. Now with qualitative data, it was always gonna be a little bit hard because what are the chances that many people are gonna name the exact same thing? Very low, right? 
but a lot of people wrote in toe beans, like hundreds and hundreds of people wrote exactly toe beans. And then Gl Glamethys had a couple people and Royal Crush was a little bit trickier to name because there were so many names with the word Royal is. So what the team and I did was we kind of made a short list. We used part data to just see like key words that were being used repeatedly. And then we looked at what terms with those words were being used. And we made a short list of names that we thought were strong and then considered the short list to ultimately kind of vote internally on which one should make the most sense for the name. So it was a, this one was a little bit harder when you're dealing with qual qualitative data, but I'm really happy with how the shade names turns out. I think they really speak to the polish and the color and they suit the theme. They're all royal. They're all stunning and beautiful. And it was just so fun to do this with Hollow Royalty. So, with that said, I'd like to take a quick poll and see who's in Hollow Royalty in the chat. What are you? Declare yourself. And yes, the British is gonna slip out of me today. It's inevitable. Hollow Royalty. Hello, Swatcher. And I'd like to give a shout out to, you know, anyone who's not in any tier. It's okay. You know, everyone has to start somewhere and learn. <laughs> but yeah. You know, we, we invite everyone. Oh, and these polishes, anyone can buy them. They're not only available to Hollow Royalty, just to be clear, anyone can buy. Hold on, let me just finish my typing thought. Okay, go. Vote in the poll. I would like to gather some data who's here right now on this Royalty launch stream. How many of you are in our Hollow Royalty program? I think it's a lot of you, but. I like to take this data when there's a larger sample size and there's a larger sample size right here, right now than on my random gaming streams. <laughs> I'm a very good gamer. <laughs> it's the royalty, yes. Okay, I will show you the polish. Oh. Oh yeah, and let me just clarify one more time that in four minutes, the royalty trio is launching it will be available on the website and the loyalty sale is beginning where you get 10 15 or 20 percent off depending on which oh Menchi just took her dress off Menchi, Menchi, depending on which tier you're in <laughs> and you have to be signed into your account so go to your my account sign in with the email that's associated with your hollow royalty tier and or loyalty tier and then you will get your discount in cart there's no code you'll get it in cart and the sale excludes the new polishes and most recently released polish, which is the pastel crowns. But everything else in the store, you'll get your discount on. Menchi, what are you doing? Okay, we need to take a look. She just took off her dress. Girl, okay. Don't forget to redeem your points. Get some stuff while you're shopping. Thank you, Mike. Let's go. Yeah, redeem those points, Mike. What are you doing? Guys, look. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> look at these classic, but stunning. So on brand, but just iconic, you know? And look, 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 look. We were gonna do two. We were, oh, I swear, like we were thinking, okay, I can't just do one, so I'm gonna do two. That was always kind of in my head. Shh, shh, it's fine. But then it was so hard to decide on which two, because I felt like I was leaving stuff out. So we did three. So now, now you can do this. You can do an incomplete crown at home. You're welcome. Because <laughs> the plan, my plan was two, but we changed it to three. I'm sorry, but also you're welcome. Okay, we have a couple minutes. But let me do a little unboxing for you so you can see them right here and I'll show you my nails, get you a nice good shot. Yeah, yeah, stunning. Okay, look, ready? Oh, okay, the purple frosted metal is literally everything. Oh, who am I? Why am I talking like this? But it's true. And then the, I love how the three of them look together. They're just so kind of classic. They make such a beautiful royalty little skittle. So here you go, here's an up close. We got Glamethys on the middle finger. It's that blingy, sparkly, in your face, kind of light purple, a bit medium toned. It's got purple glitter in it and green shimmer. So it's really, look at when it's blurry. The purple frosted metal, iconic. No explanation required. And then Toe Beans, which is a very pale pink, 
linear polish, a little more classic, a little more sophisticated, but it also has a pink shimmer in it that you can see in indirect lighting, like in the shade. You're in love? Are you in love? You guys did great. You did this. You did good. You did good, guys. Okay, let's take a look at um, the website. It's gonna be a couple minutes. Okay, it's not there yet. Um, hold on. You know what I also wanna do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we almost ready? Okay, let's close the poll. Close the poll, so we'll get this out. Hollow Royalty, 76% of you are in Hollow Royalty. Oh my God. What other rewards program has this giant of a chunk of people in the top tier? None. <laughs> oh my God, thank you guys. I mean, like, I know what this means. That means that so many of you shop almost every single one of our launches. And um, that's why I think this launch is so special to me because I wanted you to really drive it and be, you know, invested in the results. So thank you. Thank you, Hala Royalty. Shout out to, it's live? Wait, it's live? Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, I wanted to show this. Let's fucking go. You're in the map. Chat's in the map. I'm sorry, I couldn't figure out how to unmirror it. Chat is the map. Let's refresh. You've been loyal. Let's go. It's our loyalty appreciation sale event. New product launches excluded. That should have been finer print. Let's go. Look how fun this picture is. Shout out to the team. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, new stuff is here. Let's go, everybody. Mm. We got the Hollow Royalty Debut Trio, Royal Crush, Toe Beans, Glamethyst, and then the rest of the website. Remember that your discount is added in cart. So it's not going to appear on the website just as you're browsing. You got to go to your cart and then it'll show you your personalized discount that's tied to your, um, to, to your tier. Let's go around the world. Who's here? Who's here? Who's shopping at Royalty? Also, oh, hello. Hello over there across the pond. It's nice to see you here. <laughs> and remember, because the sale is going on, make sure, please, I kindly request, I bequeath upon you, please, to make sure that you've added everything that you want to your cart because we're not gonna be able to update orders later. So make sure that you have everything that you want. Maybe you've used the wish list feature to help add everything to your cart because we introduced that a week or two ago where now you can just add your entire wish list to your cart. Ready, watch. Wish list. These are all in my wish list. Add the entire thing to my cart. Yes, all 46 items. <laughs> Who's getting what? Put in the comments what, what you're getting. Okay, I also wanted to show you, see? See what it looks like for me? Cause I'm Hollow Royalty. Yes, I buy my own stuff, it's fine. Don't judge me. But 20% off for Hollow Royalty is what you would see if you're Hollow Royalty. The map is exploding! Oh my God! Let's go! I guess, okay, now, it, now it's at, everything is live. Everything's live. All the discounts should be applying in cart. Let's go, woo! Hello around the world. Guys, these are all royalty. Royalty did this. Thank you guys, this is so fun. Woo woo! What are you getting? Toe beans? Oh, I'm seeing so much, uh, so much joy for toe beans in the chat. Let's go, who's in Australia? What is it, like 3 a.m. there? <laughs> Wow, it's kind of wild to see how many, like, how much of America is lit up, and also Canada. As a friendly reminder, very few people live up here in Canada. People always ask me that question, like, why is no one in Canada? That's, no, they're all here. <laughs> this is an inaccurate map, <laughs> but, like, you can't tell where Canada is. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, I'll, I'll close this, because it looks annoying. Okay, chat's back and not in a map. You're from Australia. It's 1.30 in Australia. Oh, no. 
You're in Canada, woo! So everything is included in the loyalty sale on the website, except the new products, this, you know, the royalty trio, and the recently released pastel crumbs. We're considering those new products, but you can still purchase them in the bundle at their regular bundle price, which would be $66 US. So, <gasps> Ben, Ben, what's this? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, Ben. Ah. Careful, don't put it on. It's pink, my lady. Oh, no, 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 no. I you. Oh, Queen Simply of the five families. Quickie, Zerzy, Chicken Nugget. All Who's the a leaders, chicken nugget? All the leaders of the five nugget. families across all the lands. <laughs> please, please do not in front of the, if you end this live stream, I swear to God, Ben. <laughs> ben, I will dethrone you. It's Toby, or Frosted Metal. That's not what it is, though. <laughs> it looks like toe beans. It's toe beans. Okay. Ben, do not end this live stream. I will banish you from this house and this chat. I will banish ye to the dark side of the kingdom. <laughs> what are you even doing? Like, what is this impression of? <laughs> do not pop the cork right No! No! Ben, don't do it! I swear, do it over there. In the corner! No! Where are you putting In the corner! <laughs> No, no don't, don't put it! Don't put it! <laughs> you want to pop? No! Ah! Oh my god, I hit oh, my head! Ah! Ben! <laughs> I hit my head! Are you, ben! Are you a Kleenex? No! Benji! <laughs> The cork hit my head in the back. Yo, was that on camera? Hold on. Ben? Okay, chaos music intermission. Yeah, I got it. Oh, my crown. <laughs> We're gonna need like water though. the same royal nail polish. It's good, it contains sulfates. What does that mean? It's fancy. Oh, okay. I love it. Benji, come back. Put your dress on. <laughs> Yo, there's champagne on my nail mat. Champagne collection. It's a good idea. A little bit of champagne in every polish. Can I get another? Okay. Just gotta wipe up my mat here. We are fancy, we are royal. We are enjoying the loyalty sale and the new polishes. It's a, uh, they didn't have purple champagne. Stupid, I know. I, I had an idea. I was like, what if we put food coloring in it? But Ben said, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I thought about it though. I'm like, okay, they have, you know, rose or blush champagne or whatever this is called. I guess it's kind of like toe beans. Okay, fine, good enough. But I was like, what if, like, can't we just put Purple or blue and red food coloring? Would that be weird? Would that be treason? <laughs> it's treason. Thank you, Natabine. 
is gr a great way to get purple teeth, yeah. But I was like, okay, yeah, I'm excited, I'm down. <laughs> is there still champi on the floor? I got the floor. Did you wipe it with water though? Yeah, <laughs> is, it, I did, I did. is it sticky? <laughs> but you know what? I don't care, because I have my Holo Togo slippers on. <laughs> so, so I won't touch it. Here, you want to hold on to it? Do I want to hold on to do I want to hold on to this? What if I if I need it for later? Just just drink it out of the bottle. <laughs> Dude, go for it. Okay, who wants to make a meme? Ready? <laughs> okay, memers. Hold on, let me fix my crown. I can't have a crooked crown. Okay, okay. <sighs> Whatever, I'm 34, it's fine. <laughs> Gotta show my nails. <laughs> How do I show my nails the best? <laughs> Cheers, bitches! <laughs> Yo, I need OJ! I need orange juice! Yeah, I can't- This is not okay, it's 11.39 AM! <laughs> what is happening? Cheers! <laughs> ben, don't leave me with this! Give me memories of undergrad. Oh no. <laughs> it's a celebration. Everyone have a sip. Let's go. Thank you, Anthony. It's 5 p.m. in European. Let's just pretend we're all in Europe. It's fine. This is not Canada. It's Europe. Mm. <laughs> if my face turns pink, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, where were we? Thank you guys. Thank you, Lauren. Just restocked on a ton of polishes I needed along with the new pastels and new royalties. Whoops, I spent $500. You know what that means though, Lauren? That you're guaranteed to be in hollow royalty next year. <laughs> That's what that means. So that means you can vote in the next one. I had to place my order before commenting, but haha, ha, Christina's exactly me. Anyone tries to pop a sham. I've had too many corks popped around me for various reasons, celebrations, and I'm just like, nope, don't put it near my face. There's danger there. <laughs> incredible. We're doing incredible things. Okay, I haven't even looked at literally anything. Um... How is everyone doing? Everyone's getting their order in. Everyone's good. We're going to do a whole, I want to review the website with you. I want to talk about what you did. I want to watch the Holo Taco YouTube video. I want to show you comparisons. I want to do a little Holo Taco detective thing that I would like to, you know, do a little review of their work. All the things. But is everyone doing okay? The sales, sales working for you. You're getting everything you want. You're happy with your, you're, you're happy. I'm so happy with my order. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> you got yours. They are limited edition, yes. The, the, just these three. These three are limited edition, correct. Add creme de cassis blackcurrant liquor. Oh, Ben, go get that right now. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, the brush, yes. The brush in these is wide. It's our uh, thick width brush because that's what you guys voted on. We asked you for every polish, which brush you would like, hypothetically, in the event that it was one of the six prototypes. We asked you for each polish, what would you name it? And for each polish, which brush would you prefer? And the wider brush was preferred by the majority. So since this was a through and through royalty collection, we stayed true to you guys picking everything about it. Yeah, formula, color, brush, name. You did it everything, except the packaging. I picked the packaging, sorry. It was just too complicated to ask you what the packaging should be. <laughs> so I, I picked this. You'll, you'll have to deal with this, okay? I said we're doing this. You, that's the only thing you didn't pick. But as always, you can purchase a replacement brush pack if you want to switch it to skinny or vice versa. And I think both of those are in our rewards right now, right? Right? Yes, okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> So if you like the skinny instead, you can, if you have 150 points, you can just redeem or vice versa. We put them both in our rewards right now. We rotate these regularly though, so whatever's here right now may not be there next time around. Use points to get the wide brushes. 
Put the wide brush in my one coat black. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you must have a really old one coat black then. But because, yeah, we are currently making them. All the crumbs are wide. Uh, your birthday gift is saying 14 minutes because you have to apply the code that you got in your email at checkout. Okay, I'm, re I'm reading you guys first before I go through the website. Replenish the essentials, green taffy smoothing base, and super glossy taco, and the royalty trio, and an extra royal crush in Tobin's for my sister. That's so sweet of you. Your sister loves you. Very nice. Mm. Accidentally ordered one too many. Impossible. Not possible. That's not possible. Uh, there is no collection box. It's the three... But they're limited edition cartons, custom cartons. We'll do comparisons in a bit. I'm just reading to see everyone's experience, what you're getting on sale, what you're stocking up on. I think it's helpful for other people to like see, oh, you got a free Matt Taco as a reward? Yes, Matt Taco is a reward. So remember to redeem your stuff. Remember to update the royal wheels. Oh, the wheels. Yes, I will. Once once I, I'm done streaming. What's on the box for toe beans? They're all the same. These, these are the same box, but if you twist them, see they do the same thing. Smart, eh? <laughs> you got brush it. You got the display rack? Okay, the display rack, yes. We luckily still had some for the sale, so people are getting the display rack on sale right now. That's kind of wild. Um, I, we don't have giant stock of that, though. Don't sleep on the hand lotion. Good point. Don't sleep on the hand cream. People who, who buy it really love it. You got 15 polishes and another display rack. Let's go. Got everything from collection box. All my missing polishes up to the barista collection. This is a good opportunity, yeah, to fill up on any missing polishes that you've been wanting, that you've seen swatches of that you're like, damn, I wish I got that. I bought five, what, hand creams, holo combo? Stop hoarding them. <laughs> I got the pastel bundo, the trio, an extra royal crush, brushes and scrunchies. Scrunchies are also in the rewards and a hand cream, so excited. That's an amazing order, I love that order. I'm waiting for someone to say slippers. I will not stop plugging my slippers <laughs> it's all i wear no like actually though like this is all i wear every day i don't need shoes i got hollow slippers but yeah for the first time they're on sale because everything is on sale isn't it lovely you got the no mess mat good choice very practical item uh po points only expire if you don't do anything meaning like you don't shop or redeem for a year so as long as you're a a customer of some kind within a year then your points won't expire but if after a year you've done nothing then yeah we we consider that you're not interested respectfully thanks simply you're welcome display rack incredible royalty polishes and scientific as my b-day polish plus not spending anything as using money for my b-day perfect timing let's go got the nail brush brushes yes the nail art brushes and the no mess mat and sponges perfect okay we've got a nail artist in the chat wait who said they got slippers I got slippers! Let's go, Elle! <laughs> I'm not saying what I ordered? Why? <laughs> why? why? <laughs> now I'm curious, what did you order, Shell My Bell? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> why? Is someone like gonna get mad at you because you like ordered what they wanted or something? Or it's a birthday present for someone? Royal Crush. Um, polish for your wedding, Manny. I got extra. It's perfect. It will go amazing with my dress. Awesome. Lovely theme. I love the, that color theme. First pair of slippers, and I bought two pairs for my friends. Thank you, Denise. Yes. I got slippers. Thank you, Code Katie. There's a Katie in the chat, Ben. Don't tell anyone. Uh, travel bags, no updates, but we're working on a different version of it for later this year. I got slippers and circuit breaker, gift receipt, display rack, the new collection, and wireless mode. Thank you, Sharon. I hope you love them. Yes, I'm so excited we got to make the polishes too. And they're beautiful. Of course. Yeah, you guys were so fun to do this with. And um, I, I love this kind of stuff. You know, making you guys invested in the process, showing you as much as I can. 
and ultimately using data to do something like this with a little bit of contextualizing and you know you have to also consider things that aren't just quantitative your birthday's may 1st do you think the royalty bundy will be i don't know it's hard for me to say at this point anytime we do a limited edition polish launch which the last one wasn't was like october it was my birthday yeah we haven't launched limited edition polish since october that's that's a long time <laughs> but um with those it's it's a bit more unpredictable but i will say that we made a ton of them we made we made more than birthday <laughs> but i don't know how long that that means I got the bundles, let's go. Hand cream, wide brushes, backup magenta jelly. Oh, I love that color. And hot wire pink. Law school grad polish, it'll match my gown. Oh, like, it, does your gown look like this? <laughs> Slippers, no mess mat, and three new polishes, amazing. Okay, thank you guys so much for sharing in the chat what you're getting. I'd like now to move towards looking at the website and reviewing the polishes with you. Let's go. Oh my God, best $400 spent ever. Oh my God, that's so amazing. <laughs> Your friends are gonna be like, oh my God, <laughs> coming over every day. New collection twice, let's go. Okay. All right, give me, give me one moment. Thank you, please hold. Okay, I might have to take this crown off. Thank you, Kay. Blushed ice, yes. Hollow taco slaps. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. No Katie's allowed, except for those that buy resting witch face got cake and worlds first. <laughs> oh yeah, the chromes are on sale. You can buy the chromes individually on sale right now. <laughs> Slippers, let's go. I know, slippers is like my best investment, my best personal investment. Your curls are are holding? They're not curls, they're braid, or whatever you call it. They're, um, I had my hair in braids and then I just undid it. That's it, that's such a secret. I did not use a curler and they're only holding because I slept like this. Thank you, Amy, for the gift of memberships. Thank you. Okay. Let's move on to the next phase of this stream, which is reviewing the polishes on the website and watching the Hollow Taco video. And we have some fun stuff with comparisons and detectives that I'd like to do a bit later on. So yeah, just hang out with me. It's Saturday, we're chilling. And don't be afraid to let me know in the chat what you're picking up from the sale. The loyalty sale begins now and it ends on Monday at midnight in my time zone, Eastern time zone. So you do have all weekend, but I don't know how much that means that we're gonna clear out of some stock stuff that's low stock. So for example, if you really wanted um, like uh, magenta jelly, I don't have it off the top of my head, but if, if we have some kind of older polishes that are low stock, I don't know if they're gonna run out at some point during this sale. So if you're here now and you're watching now, my best advice is if there's products that you wanted to pick up, that you've been like looking after for the for the past few months or whatever um and they're not new products that we stocked up a lot on then i would encourage you to just pick whatever you want that you've always wanted in case it does sell out i have a hair in my mouth <coughs> it must be the shampi <laughs> i'm like menchi when she gets she eats my hair Yeah, we don't have low stock indicators on the website, so you, so it's kind of hard to to know what's low stock. And that's on purpose, because I'm not trying to create FOMO just out of saying low stock. A lot of people do that, and it's not even true. Um, so if something runs out, then there there isn't really a warning. It just is. So we don't create that kind of anxiety that will make it sell out. <laughs> uh, orders start shipping on Monday. There's such a nice thing for Holo Taco to do for their customers. Thank you, Katie Cat. <laughs> I 
Thank you, Athena. I hope you're doing well. Okay, let's look at the new stuff. New stuff, new stuff. You've been loyal. Shop now. That's awesome, Tanzo. Let's go. It's time to rule the maniarchy. <laughs> Good one. It's a great one. You're welcome. You're welcome. Introducing your new majesties, Toe Beans, Glamethyst, and Royal Crush. Crafted and voted into creation by our very own Hollow Royalty customers. Whether you're in the mood to express your inner Hollow Princess, transform your fingertips into glittering crown jewels, or bewitch your subjects with a majestic purple metallic frost and metal, there's something in this limited edition trio that'll make everyone's nails rule. These nails rule, your nails rule, these polishes rule, so cool. And the trio is limited edition and comes with our custom royalty carton. Look how, look how cute this gif is. <laughs> we love a cute gif. <laughs> they look beautiful as a Skittle or depending on which mood you're in, you can wear them on your own. And as a, as a reminder, we always have a bunch of different swatchers with different nail lengths and skin tones, different photography equipment, different lighting. So be sure to look through the trio, but also the individual polishes listing have different people included in them. Um, I'm sorry to report Ben could not make it to swatch this collection. <laughs> we were just too busy, but I'm hoping that we can swatch him on the next one. He's hard to nail down, that, that talented swatcher, Ben. <clears throat> Ooh, royal crush. Okay, like the purple velvet photography. Mm. Iconic. Looks so good. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, Jessica spent $700. Wow. Now let's not... Okay, we're not talking about it anymore. Jessica did nothing. What Jessica did is um, ensure that Jessica will enjoy their time. You know, painting nails, staring at hollow, creating a beautiful display for people who come to Jessica's house. That's what Jessica did. We speak not of numbers. We speak of, uh, of outcomes only. <laughs> uh, the, yes, the rainbow chrome toolkit is out of stock, unfortunately. Part of that is because it has been a rewards item for so long, so people were, a lot of people were just getting it that way. Um, but we, we don't have a restock date. It's probably going to be a couple months at this point. Apologize. Apologies for that. Oh, I got an update. Update coming in. Hold on. Update. What's that? Oh, interesting. Display rack is out of stock. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I thought that would happen. I predicted the future. I, I said this, what, like 10 minutes ago? <laughs> Maybe that's what made it sell out. Yeah, no, I was aware. The display rack is sold out. That's a pretty good deal if you got that for 25 or for 20% off of 25. But yeah, display rack is out, but you can hit notify me and put your email. We have this feature on every product, including Xyler for those asking. <laughs> to just put your email here to be notified the next time we restock it. I do anticipate that it's going to be a couple months though. A lot of these these things are. If it's not a straightforward nail polish that like doesn't have any limited special pigments in it, then it, it can take a couple months. Because supply chain, supply chain. Happy HT Royalty member. Thank you for creating a fun brand and community. Thank you, Kay. Thank you for being a part of it. Plus bought my mom her first hollow taco, basin, top coat, and cereal. Your mom will love that. Get her hooked. Turn her into all the royalty. Tell her she's gonna be royalty soon. Admit it, you have a royal crush on this purple frosted metal. At long last, Hollow Royalty has officially decreed this gem into existence. With its majestic, rich purple metallic finish and a sprinkling of scattered hollow, you'll be worshipping this polish at first swipe. Dreams really do come true. You're welcome. I know. Yes, everyone, you're welcome. We did it. We did it. You did it. Purple Frost Metal. Two of each of the Royalty polishes, five glass tacos, two one gold blacks, rewards. This sounds like a Christmas song. We're like, 
and a partridge in a pear tree. Two frosted medals. <laughs> Thank you, Cece. Let's go. Happy birthday, Heidi. Mm. Mm. And as always, I have to respectfully tell you that frosted medals look 10 times better in person than photos. I don't know what it is. I'm not just saying that. Everyone agrees. <laughs> Hollow Royalty agrees that for whatever reason, Frosted Metals don't like their picture taken. They look so much shinier and kind of um, almost like fake. I don't know like the word I'm looking for. They, they look like salon-like fake from a distance in real life. It's really hard to show that with a good camera. You know what I mean? Because a good camera is like super macro and zoomed in. And it's almost like you just need to be like IRL to see its beauty. It's incredible, it's true, I concur. Everyone, who agrees? Say I in the chat, say I. All, of, all those in favor of Frosted Metals looking better in real life, say I. Thank you, Cali girl, 2K for the 10 gifted memberships, let's go. Because of you, 10 extra people will get to come to the Menchi Gang extra bonus exclusive live stream that I'll be doing later this month. I do them once a month as an extra place to hang out, answer questions, and you know, other Menchi related things. I, okay, we all agree. Don't look at these pictures. <laughs> we just upload them for funsies, okay? It doesn't even matter. Just, you just, just trust me. Frosted Metals, IRL, is where it's at. This isn't even in real life. This is still fake, because I'm on a screen in front of you. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what it is. It's just like, it cannot be tamed. It cannot be photographed. But this particular polish has been highly requested by so many people. I cannot stress it enough. Purple frosted metal has been demanded of me. I've been begged for it. I've been, s people have said anytime we launch anything else, anything that I'm excited about, people are like, okay, but where's the purple frosted metal? <laughs> and I'm like, please hold. <laughs> so we knew once the first results came in for Hollow Royalty that it was so clear that people were really gunning for a purple frosted metal. Like if you subset the data and we're like, okay, I see the path. I see the subset. And so we knew that that was gonna be it. Yeah, frosted metals are not photogenic. They are like royalty. They don't want their pictures taken, but they are so fucking fabulous. <laughs> All right, let's move to Glamethyst. Mm. This satisfies a need that was in our lineup that was um, kind of a mid-toned, lavender, gleaming, ethereal kind of color. And I like that we did, a, we did two different things here. We took real light purple holographic glitter mixed with silver holographic glitter, a very uh, faint light purple jelly base and green shimmer in it to really pop at an angle or an indirect light. And this perp this polish is a, a really packed glitter polish with a lighter base so that when you apply it, whether you apply three coats or you sponge it on, it's gonna be like way more sparkly and hollow. And I think that's what I was gleaning from the data that people really wanted something like out there, something that really shines. So the jelly base in it is very, uh, light so that the glitters pop because if you start to mix this with like a, a purple jelly then it's just gonna get dark and it's gonna make the the glitters not look as hollow or as bright in the light so it was kind of designed for with this in mind and I'm really happy with how it turned out like look, look at this this is a good picture I love it stunning iconic there it is with the box here's a macro juicy macro mmm Mmm, okay. <gasps> oh, look at that. Stunning. It's gorgeous. We'll do comparisons in a bit, yeah. 10 out of 10, let's go. Love the green shimmer. I know, right? It just, it makes it look almost more royal to just to have that like pop of a bit of a contrast. Will there be a release before June 1st? There's a release right now, Katrina. <laughs> The spills. This isn't a spill, this is actually just a picture of the side of the bottle. But yeah, it's packed. It's packed. And we'll watch a video and I'll show you how to apply it because I also do the dabbing on method. 
Slippers and the trio. Okay, that's like the royal fit right there. The royal fit is this trio and slippers. <laughs> Thank you, 80s purple cat. I wonder which shades you like. <laughs> Put some pressure on glitter and shimmer, and a glamethyst is born. Rule all sides of sparkle with this light purple glitter polish and dazzle your subjects with its complimentary green shimmer. Did I say green? I did. Green shimmer. The end result? Priceless. Except it's technically $14, but you know, whatever. It's a small price to pay for looking like royalty. And finally, we've got toe beans. Bow down to toe beans and treat all felines like royalty. This light pink linear hollow polish has a gleaming pink shimmer peeking through that will make your nails kind of famous. <laughs> After all, imitation is the highest form of flattery. This one is really nice for people who wanted a more kind of subtle, understated, light princess kind of color. It's a very pale baby pink, which is something we don't really have anything of like in this category, but it also has a very fine micro pink shimmer throughout so that in indirect light, when you're not seeing the hollow, you're seeing the pink shimmer and it makes it a bit more of like a uniform wash of pink, which I think is really pretty and flattering. So this one is gonna look different in different lights, whether you have like, like a flash on it, so it's looking hollow, or you're looking at it more in an indirect light where you see a bit of that pink gleam. Ben, what is this? Is your breakfast, your majesty? Breakfast for the queen? Oh, yes, me lady. Ben, what is this? Oh, the bow. Human technology. Hold on. I have to go back to plowing the land now. What I'll land? Grow your crops, me lady. I am just a surf. What's a surf? <laughs> what? Why is there so much plastic on this? What's going on? What is this? Is this a macaron? Is a macaron? Oh, you're the Ninja Turtle. <laughs> oh. Man, no, that's not a crown. You're the Ninja Turtle. Yes, c'est vrai. C'est très beau. Madame, oh, c'est très beau. Are we French royalty? Oh, c'est... Ben, you're such a peasant. <laughs> Stop it with this peasant bow! I'm just a lowly pleasant peasant, I my want, queen. I want my crown, because I am a royal, your royal, royal highness, not peasant like Ben, unhinged Ben peasantry. What is this? What? What is this plastic wrap? This is not royal treatment. <laughs> Please unwrap it. I didn't, well, I don't know why they put so much plastic on it. What is this? Saran wrap. <laughs> That's not the royal treatment at all. It smells good. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you hurry up, me lad? <laughs> me lad is me taking lad. his sweet ass time. What's it? It's me, me lad, lad and me lady. Me lad. <laughs> me lad and me lady. What, what's this you wrote? The best selling non loyalty. What is this data, Ben? The best selling non loyalty shade today is Pinky Swear. I'm just dropping Ooh. knowledge here. Pinky Swear. People are picking up the pink pastel creme. At, n at no discount, because they're not even on sale. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Show them. You got to hold it up and show them. I can't, it's a tower of macarons. Don't spill it like the champagne. I'm going to spill it. I don't Challenge. Know how to not spill ben, it. Ben, don't spill. It's not stable. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, keep on putting macarons and macarons <laughs> boulevard. What is this? Got it. Gotta take its skirt off. <laughs> there, there, there. There you go. Oh my god, Look who wants that. one? Okay, there's the top one is toe beans. It's rose the middle water. the middle one is no, it's toe beans. Okay. Glamethyst. Lavender. And Royal Crush. Caramel London Fog. Ooh. Caramel London Fog, really? Hey, look, we have the music. Ready? Look at that aesthetic. You gotta eat one with me, cheers. Please forgive me, my lord. I will go back to towing the soil. Pick one, please, you eat with me. I will grow the crops so we can live through the winter. <laughs> can we eat this to live through the winter, Ben? Don't you go choose with me and eat one. Let them Pick a pink one. Lady, I have to go eat the potato. No, eat this now, I only, order you. Only royalty gets the cake. Put it in your mouth. Cheers. 
Cheers. Weird. It has like brown inside. It's like throwing me off. I just want to be with you. How can you make me feel this way? Don't let me down, down, down. It could be you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need champagne to wash these cookies. What am I eating? Cookies. It's 12 a.m. No, 12 p.m. What? <laughs> Caramel London fog. Incredible. <laughs> ben is so on him. He's like, what is happening? Okay, changing the music is, is a lot. Throwback, yeah, throwback to face logical. <laughs> okay, how am I gonna use my computer with this? We'll do comparisons in a bit, um, but I have a giant tower of macarons in front of me. Ben! <laughs> If I put them on the floor, a cat will eat them. How much was this macaron tree? A lot. I asked Ben and he was like, yeah, um, it was like $90. <laughs> uh, Jen, Matt, if you're watching, um, I have some macarons to share with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's from like an Ottawa business. Very beautiful, very beautiful work they did. Stunning. Yeah. I mean, yeah, quality costs money, you know? Quality has a price. I get it. It's fine. Looks beautiful. Look, it even matches our polish, roughly. Happy to pay for quality. Royalty. Let's go. Inflation. Paying for royalty, quality, and inflation. All of it. Mm. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Cheers to that. Supply chain, inflation, cost of living, you know, all those things. Cheers. Mm. <coughs> Nintendo, what? Okay, are you rich or something? He gifted 50 memberships and now he's gifting 20. Okay, Ben. <laughs> Nintendo is showing off at this point. Thank you, Ben. Because of Nintendo, 20 of you are now in the Mench Gang. You can use our custom emotes in the chat. And uh, you can come to the exclusive extra live stream where we do Q, Q and A's and have fun. Can you please make a bake logical with macaroons? Ben, can we use these in a cake somewhere? Can you bake macaroons into a cake? That's a good idea. Thank you for Rux. I'm not in any tier, but still enjoy the stream. Of course, I think the new polishes are beautiful. And oh my God, toe beans, have you they run? Yes, and the new polishes, anyone can buy them. You can be a new customer. You can be like, what? what is this? What's going on? And you can still buy the royalty trio. And then you can get hooked and realize why people are so obsessed <laughs> with Aladago and why 76% was it? 76% of people watching this stream are in Hollow Royalty. There is reason. There are reasons. There's reasons for everything. Okay, Ben, where can I put this? Where a cat will not eat it. I have no desk space. <laughs> hold on. Please hold. Okay, got it. Woo, okay. <laughs> Join the cult. <laughs> Someone named their five month old Ben? Oh no, I'm so sorry for your child. <laughs> okay, let's watch the video.
My government sucks, yeah. I cannot control taxes and duties, unfortunately. I know. It's, um... It's countries trying to make you shop locally. And you're like, okay, but I like shit in other countries, so... <laughs> I understand, because I am Canadian. Uh, what was I gonna do? The Hollow Taco video. Let's watch the video. Yeah. Yeah. That went live. So you can see them in motion, see all the juicy action. Who liked this video? Go like Hollow Taco's video right now. I'm watching you. Who's in the comments? Why does it say zero comments? Susan, you're lying. Royal, perfect. It's perfect for prom. Yes, we needed it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Creeping on you. Okay, let's watch the video. This is the launch video on the Hollow Taco channel. Wait. by royalty, named by royalty, designed royalty cartons, custom shades crafted and voted into existence by customers in the top tier of our loyalty program. Voted in October and December 2022 surveys. That's for the people who are like, I need to, I need to understand where and when. Too much text, but Christine had to put it in. <laughs> it's true. It, th this is true, okay? I was gonna do one. The survey was about one. It said, pick one. <laughs> and then I was like, fuck, we're gonna do two, right? Yeah, we're gonna do two. So we made the carton two. But then we did three. <laughs> and now the crown doesn't make sense because it's only for two. Oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Also, do we like how many filters I used? I like them. So I don't need your answer because I like them. Look. <laughs> A formal introduction to your new royal family. Glamethys, dazzle your subjects with this purple holographic glitter. Wide brush, wide brush, wide brush, wide brush, wide brush. Wow, say that five times fast. Wide brush, wide brush, wide brush, wide brush, wide brush, wide brush. <laughs> they are all a wide brush because that was what was voted. You know what's interesting though? 25% of people on average for each of the shades said they were indifferent, like they, that they didn't care whether it was wide or uh, the skinny one. So as I described here, it's a buildable pale, pale purple jelly because if you make the jelly deeper purple, then the hollow glitters kind of get colored over by the jelly and then they're less uh, hollow looking. So to maintain the most holographic sparkle, you actually need the least colored or pigmented jelly. It's kind of like the science of it. That's why rainbow snow, our like classic silver hollow glitter in a clear base is so hollow looking because there's no jelly in it, it's just clear. So this is a very faint purple. So the purple and silver hollow glitters, that's right, there's purple hollow glitters in here can really sparkle and look hollow. I need to see the silver one color black, I got you. Coming up next, Christine Swatch Wheels. Or sponge it on for maximum glitter payoff. This is a hack that I've shown a few times before. So you just take a nail art sponge or a makeup sponge and you put the polish that is a hollow glitter specifically. This doesn't work for all formulas. But see how on the sponge, what happens is the sponge absorbs some of the jelly, like the base that's a bit tinted, but it leaves the glitters behind. So if you want like the most packed ever, you just sponge it on and then it's, it's really easy. You just do a dab, 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 make your nails fab. So it's an option. You don't have to sponge it on, but you can. 
and I'm using protective peel around my nail to just clean it up easily. Glossy taco, mm, get it on sale right now in the loyalty sale. Who's talking up on glossy taco? I see you. Mm, swatchers. Next up, toe beans. Bow down. Bow down, everybody. Ooh! Oh, it's so pretty. Look! Oh, I should have stayed on that shot longer. I'm mad at myself. Oh! Why was that so good, Reflet? Ah! Oh! <laughs> the linear hollow flare is so good. Woo! Okay, sorry, I'm back, I'm back. So in different lighting, see how in this kind of softer lighting, I get a little bit more shimmery sparkle. It almost glows like a yellow pink versus in direct flash, you see the linear hollow more. It'll show again here. That's more hollow optimized, that's more shimmer optimized. It's so, it's just so pretty. I'm seeing people in the chat saying, this is your wedding color, it looks like it, you know? If you have a very pale, dusty, but something like exciting about it pink, this linear hollow with the shimmer, I think kind of meets those sophistication, baby pink vibes. Last up. But not least, it's Royal Crush. Finally, she has arrived. A majestic, rich purple frosted metal that you all worship. Mm. Purple base, metallic foil flakes, good coverage in two coats, maybe three, depending on how thin or thick you apply. Glossy taco it up for the most shiny, beautiful purple frosted metal nail. It's a purple frosted metal. Finally, look at this. Dreams do come true. <laughs> you're you're welcome your dreams have come true because of you believe in yourself vote in our surveys it's what you deserve chat holla royalty thank you to all of you who voted to all of you who purchase Holo Taco, who are excited about Holo Taco, who have uh, fan accounts or make memes or anything dedicated to Holo Taco or the Simply community. I appreciate it so much. It's because of you that we can even do something this fun that you can participate in, that you're really excited about. And um, yeah, now it's time to rule the maniarchy. The spill shot. Delicious. Was that Mod Mel? Thank you, Mel. The collection and fake date. You need to see, we'll do comparisons next. Comparisons coming up. Um, for the names, oh here, let me just go to that slide. Named by royalty. Let me put some music back on. So because this was named by you and because it was kind of complicated, technically there was at least one person who named each of these as they were, but there was like way more people who said royal something or crush something or amethyst, but not glamethyst, you know what I mean? But we did reach out to the first person who suggested each name that we ended up picking exactly as, as the text is, and we gifted them the royalty trio. So I know you're probably like, but I named Toe Beans because there was like thousands of people who wrote Toe Beans or something. Uh, but the, the first person who named the Polish name that we went with exactly, we reached out to already and are gifting them the royalty trio just as a small thank you. So yeah, it, you had to have been first. So yeah, thank you to everyone who contributed to naming and it was so fun. 
It's so kind, but they are royal. We had to thank them somehow. They got PR, basically. They're royal PR for this round. What's this? The queen rules with an iron fist? What? 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 No, that was our last shade name in Chrome. Iron Violet. Wrong launch, Ben. <laughs> I'm drinking tea now. I drank too much champagne. <laughs> My tea is cold. Oh, no. I'm using the Hall of Royalty sale to get my bridesmaid their own bundles. Oh my god, that's so fun and nice. Colors are navy and purple. I think I'm going with Sunken Secrets. That's super fun. Or you could do Shady Navy Creme and pick a topper on top if you have like an accent topper or Linear Hollow if you want Hollow. Well, I guess that's the same as Sunken Secrets, which would look better. But like you could do an iridescent color on top, depending if that works. I'm giving too much advice. Okay, I know. You pick whatever you think looks the best. Help, I'm Hall of Royalty logged in. Help me, but the discount is not showing up. Um, I don't know. There, there's others? Oh, I have not seen other people. I Okay, my first guess is maybe it's a browser issue. So try and log on in a different browser. If you're on Chrome, use Safari, or if you don't have Safari, use your phone or use your desktop if you're on your phone. Try a different browser would be my first suggestion, but also... You can reach out to customer service support at Holotaco. I know they're incredibly busy with all the questions, but if any of you guys have a trick, if it worked, I have to use Edge, but it worked? Okay. It updates when you go to checkout? Okay, maybe they just misunderstood. Yeah, so you have to actually go to checkout, maybe, to, to see it register. It should be showing in cart, but maybe there's there's a bug that you see it in checkout. So try going all the way to checkout. Or try using a different browser or device. You got it working in Safari? Okay. Clear cash and cookies. Clear your cookies. Go to checkout. It doesn't show in cart. Yeah. Thanks, chat, for the advice. Clear your cookies. Clear your cache. Use a different browser, different device, and go all the way to checkout. And as long as you're logged in and when you go to rewards, it says your tier, you should have that tier discount. All right, okay. I would like to do comparisons next and then detective stuff. Does that sound good? I will, um, if you don't mind, a quick bathroom break. You know, your highness has to dispose of so much of the shampoo that she's drank unexpectedly at 11 in the morning. So uh, I'll just run a quick royal ad for Susan. And I will BRB. Please keep the chat entertained. I have returned. <laughs> Did you behave? Who's behaving and misbehaving? Why are you saying Shrek in the chat? No, no Shrek. Just royalty. Yeah, even my mods are confused. What is up with you guys in Shrek? Did I miss the memo? It's probably, it's Ben's fault. It's definitely Brent, Ben's fault. <laughs> ben, stop it. Okay, we're doing comparisons now. Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah, the purple frosted metal has scattered hollow in it. Do you see it? You see the f woo? Second hollow toggle order, toe beans, protective peel, and cleanup brush. Let's go. They are great investments. That's true, Jess. You will love them. Okay, comparisons. And a couple combos. So first, here's the new collection. Matte. Royal Crush, but matte. I know you guys are gonna ask this question. I didn't make the others matte because that would be treason. You can't make hollow matte. But for the frosted metal, you can make that matte and it looks like a really pretty icy frosted purple. Very different than the shiny full impact one. So if you're looking for more of a sophisticated matte touch, I think Royal Crush matte looks very like crushed velvet. Yeah, crushed velvet, yeah. Stunning. I'll just put them here. Um, okay. And let's do some combos since I'm here already. Someone asked about the polishes over black. So I put the three of them over black right here. So that's Royal Crush one coat over black. It's gonna look less purple. It's like a little, you see a little bit of the purple. This is toe beans over black, like kind of weird but interesting, it makes it like deep. There it is not on black. There it is on black. Kind of cool, but this one, I think this is a winner. This is Glamethyst over black. Look how much the green shimmer pops and even the purple hollow glitters. You really get to see the composition of the polish when you put it over like a darker color or a lighter color. But yeah, there's Glamethyst on by its own on my nail and one coat over black, right? It looks so galaxy. If you're looking for more of like a badass royal look, then one coat over black, stunning, easy. I also decided to throw it on top of other colors. So this is one coat of Glamethyst over resting witch face, which is like a very bright purple creme. That looks really pretty too. This is one coat of Glamethyst over top of the purple frosted metal. So it's literally like the mix of these two equals that. Okay, now you can do combos within your royalty trio. That's a winning combo. It's like get that purple frosted metal shine as your base, but then add a hollow glitter on top if you really want to sparkle. So pretty. And the purple on purple tends to look really good because they complement each other well. So they'll work out a little bit better versus if you did it over like a yellow or something, it would look a little, a little bit weirder. So this is Glamethyst on other polishes. I put it over High Tea Hibiscus Creme, over Cereal Killer, if you're looking for like a paler purple. I also tried it over Woody Pink and this is over Toe Beans. So this is these two. If you put on Toe Beans, Pink Linear, and then Glamethyst, you get that last swatch combo. Okay, interesting, very pretty. Uh, when do re rewards show up in your account once your order has been fulfilled? Which means like basically when it's about to ship, which will start happening on Monday, but it'll continue throughout the week. And please, as a kind reminder, because this is expected to be a very large launch, orders can take up to eight to 10, business days to be fulfilled and we very much appreciate your patience as the warehouse does everything they can to get all your orders out in due time. The Glamethyst can go with everything is basically the royal rule here. Yeah, just put one coat on anything and it, it looks so different but so fun. I really like it over black. If this is the the royal the evil royal collection is just put it over black. Yeah, very different look but kind of fun. So those were kind of some combos. Now let's do comparisons. So let's start with, <clears throat> let's start with toe beans. So the closest to toe beans in existence would be pink fizz. So I would describe pink fizz as a cooler pink pastel linear hollow. They're both linear hollows. But Toe Beans is really more truly a baby pink. We have never had a baby pink hollow to date. So as you can tell, like the pastels are a bit more saturated than like super pale. And Toe Beans is 
uh, much paler, more of a true baby pink. And it also has pink shimmer in it that maybe you can see if I go like this. It has to be in the non-hollow lighting. If I put it at an angle, okay, no, I'm only optimizing for hollow, so that's not the most helpful. <clears throat> but it also has pink shimmer throughout it that you will see in indirect lighting that the pastel linears do not have. It's 40 pounds of baby pink. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So I know we've been missing like a pale pastel true baby pink that was also hollow in the catalog. So I think this is kind of satisfying that need for all the girlies out there who are like, give me actually baby pink, please. Mm. Now let's compare it to Menchi. So Menchi the cat is right there at the bottom and she is a fully packed three different sizes of hollow glitter. So very different formula, but maybe a little bit closer in tone if you're like, how does it compare in terms of the pinkness? But that's Menchi at the bottom, a very, very pale pink hollow glitter. And then we've got the linear toe beans in the middle. Now compared to Glamethyst, Menchi is very pale and light pink. It doesn't have a green shimmer. Whereas Glamethyst is like a, more of a lavender purple with purple hollow glitters kind of in the middle in terms of tone. You can really see when you blur it, the difference like that. Like you see the green shimmer coming through in Glamethyst. It just makes it more of a kind of a unique, different formula. And what else, what else? Okay, Glitterly Purple, which was a limited edition shade from Remix, which was two years ago. Okay, so two years ago, we released this limited edition uh, glitterly purple shade, which was a mix of like seven different, was it seven or five? I can't remember. So I think it was seven because it included the cats. Seven different hollow glitters got this. It's a little bit darker than Glamethyst. And remember that it has like copper, indigo, pinkish red, blue, all different colors of hollow glitters mixed into it. So it's, it's kind of like chaotic and messy. If you look really up close, those who have it from two years ago will recall that there's copper glitters in there, indigo, and kind of like a smorgasbord of different colors. And that was the spirit of Remix because we deliberately mix like seven different polishes together. Glamethyst is a little more thought out, less chaotic, uh, more true to the goal color, which was a pale lavender and it has more uniform colored glitters. So it, it doesn't have like random copper or red or whatever. It has just light purple and silver so that it ultimately stays in that light purple range and it has the green shimmer in it. And it's a bit lighter. It's a bit lighter, more ethereal. Yeah, and for those who missed Glitterly Purple, since that was two years ago for our Remix collection, I, re I think Glamethyst is like probably what I would have made because all, <laughs> all the Remix shades were just a product of mixing polishes together and it's like whatever the result, maybe with a few tweaks. But yeah, we, we were kind of missing a uniquely crafted shade with a purple final product, a mi middle tone purple, light purple in mind that wasn't, you know, as chaotic. What else? Okay, Frosted Metals, yes. Excuse me, two years ago? I know. Remix was two years ago. Like, what? And we're coming up on our fourth year anniversary. That's this July. Obviously, we'll have a launch for that. It's, it's different. It's different. I'll just say that. Okay, but for now, we're celebrating royalty. <laughs> Shut up, Christine. Okay, here's the Frosted Metals. So if you want to compare Royal Crush to, I mean, we, we, we never had a Purple Frosted Metal, but there's fake date above it. Royal Crush really truly is the Purple Frosted Metal that we were missing, that we needed, that looks so, it's like, it's like the Purple Sister to Favorite Sister. They're in the same brightness range in terms of intensity of color and just how fun they look. But it is the same formula that people have come to know and love in terms of our Frosted Metal, very shiny finish. So they're technically metallic foil flakes, but when you put them a lot together and you concentrate them, when you when you have so many and you layer on three thin coats, it gives off this like cracked, scattered, shiny mirror effect. 
that's uh, a bit more chaotic th than a chrome polish, for example, which is a smooth finish. This is kind of just like more blingy and it, they also have a uh, scattered hollow in it, or at least favorite sister, frozen bananas and Royal Crush now has scattered hollow in it. So see when I blur it a bit, you see the little scattered hollow bits. Stunning and matte looks really good, Matt. There's Blacklisted, which was limited edition from our Gala third anniversary collection for reference. But yeah, nothing in our catalog at all compares to Royal Crush, the new purple frosted metal. Any other comparisons? I mean, here's the chromes. Kind of look at that. Like that'd be a really cute Skittle mini. Pink steel and toe beans. I think those would look good. Probably better than Pink Fizz. There's Iron Violet. Okay, here's a good kind of tonal reference. So if you have Iron Violet at home, Iron Violet was a very cool toned kind of indigo purple. And Royal Crush is very middle of the road purple. So a bit warmer than Cool Tone, but also not like super warm. I was really trying to make sure that we satisfy everyone as much as possible. Well, that's never possible, what am I saying? But uh, the goal was to have kind of middle of the road purple, like in the middle of, of warm and cold, the most universally flatting, flattering purple as much as reasonably possible. So it's really just, it's purple there. And if I, if I take that away, there you go on me and all the swatches you can look on our website of course toe beans and oat couture mm. oh no where's my swatch wheel for barista i've been stolen from alert the, the presses oh no why don't i have it okay hold on I've been, it's st stolen. Stolen! I don't know where it is. <laughs> As I moved them over there. Oh no, I lied, I lied, I'm dumb. I found it, I found it. We're good, we're good, okay. This is what happens when you have 87 swatch wheels. Okay, here, yes, good question, good question. Oh, Couture less way less pink way less pink more neutral more oaty toe beans looking more pinky yeah and there's there's blush dice so yeah barista set highly loved formula royal crush is the purple i've been waiting for see i told you <laughs> never mind yeah call off the media call off the presses we found the barista collection swatch wheel and now the barista launch people realize how much they like the crush hollow formula which they did not know when they were initially voting on the prototypes which included a light purple crushed hollow but now you know now you know that you love crush hollow so you will keep this in mind maybe next time <laughs> Is toe beans cool or warm? I think it's kind of in the middle, but I encourage you just to look at the website and look at pictures of it on different people. So, I mean, maybe by definition, it's like slightly cool. A little bit, a little bit, but it's, it's very pale. It's a very light baby pink. You know, I do find it hard sometimes if it's like a kind of a questionable, is this cool or is this warm? I tend not to want to describe it because it can throw one way or another on a different person. So if it feels or looks cool on one person, that may not be true for other people unless it's just like objectively really cool or warm. You know, if it's like very clearly that way, then like I'll describe it that way. But otherwise, I tend not to do that if it's like, eh. but it is pale. And for reference again, this this is my hand. Did you know this is my hand? <laughs> like this is it on my hand. Uh, but compared to Pink Fizz, if you want a reference, or here, 
I've already showed it compared to the Barista collection, so it's definitely cooler than Barista, but Barista was like, you know, intending to be a bit more in this zone. Uh, but Pink Fizz is cooler, so I think Pink Fizz is definitely cooler and deeper, a bit closer to a warm purple almost than Baby Pink. But hopefully that helps. I've already compared to Menchi and a few other things that Chad is saying. You probably just have to go back in the stream. Perhaps you missed it. Hmm. Some people are saying got cake. I don't think I... Let me check. I don't know what to do. I need a better, like, system of organizing stuff. Here. I have it in the box, so I could show you that. So, I'd say... Got Cake is a lot lighter and it has kind of a purpley blue shimmer in it. But w when you put it on, like you can put it over a dark color and it could look totally different. Ben, do we have any other fun stats like what people were picking up? I'd love to get some fun stats on like, you know, what are people purchasing at the loyalty sale? Or can you tell me the best selling? Can you tell me the best selling nail polish is my friend? That's the update. Guys, I have something to tell you. Nail polish is my only friend. Me too. Oh my god, it's all of us. This this is all of us. It's fine. You know that that therefore we are all friends. Okay? We can all be friends then. Uh the sale is on until Monday. End of day Monday. So, goes all weekend. The royalty, loyalty, Hello Expo, Hello Swatcher sale you can get. You can use your discount on anything on the store except new products all weekend. Is there a chance that the loser colors might be plugged into a future collection, like Green Frost Metal? There's always a chance. Always a chance. Will we ever get gel? It's not something my manufacturer has the capacity to do currently. And there's also a lot of other considerations in doing gel, like other kind of uh, standards, quality, safety things that is very, very different than regular nail polish. The update. Oak Couture. Oak Couture is the best selling shade, excluding Royalty Trio and Pastels. Wow. Crazy. Really? Random, but okay. People who miss Barista are like, okay, I'll take you now. I, I regret my choices from earlier. I regret not picking you up. I am here now, please. <laughs> Amazing. What about the bundle though? I feel like a lot of people are picking up the bundle and that's what's feeding the data. Because we, we've actually changed how we do data, so now it, it that could that could be it, whereas that wasn't the case last year. You got the barista bundle, let's go! Yeah, I think because barista was like a low-key launch, you know, whatever, in January, people are picking them up now, a couple months later on sale, which is amazing. You're welcome, woo, let's go! But um, I'm really, yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, kind of how this sale goes, how people feel about it. We never do sales like this. Oh my God, not this music as I'm talking. Stop it. <laughs> this is the first time we've done a customer appreciation sale ever. Yes, we do Black Friday along with literally everyone else on the internet. Um, but this sale is better if you're hollow royalty at least because you're getting 20% off of everything whereas Black Friday was up to 25% off but 25% off was not most of the store, you know? So if you want glossy tacos, 
you're definitely better off shopping now than Black Friday if you're in Hollow Royalty because it's definitely 20% off of classics, iconic, essentials, things like that. So yeah. And this is the first time we're doing it. So we're evaluating it. We're seeing how it's gonna go, seeing how people respond, seeing how people like it grouped up with the Royalty Custom Input Polish launch. Um, I think it's good to group things up you know, for shipping purposes to consolidate your personal efforts. But I also have seen other feedback of people saying like they would rather a sale moment where they could get everything on sale. And the only way we can make that work is if we like split up these two moments, which some people may not like because they want things in one moment. So I don't know, I'm evaluating feedback how this goes because it's the first time we're doing this kind of a hybrid of an, an event. Yes, this works. I waited for this sale to pick up the barista bundle, but it was always wanted. I'm so excited for Royal Crush. It's so close to my dream polish. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Thank you for turning my ripening bananas joke into an actual bundle. I was so excited. <laughs> the ripening bananas, linear hollows. Yeah, iconic. Getting to free shipping is always the best. I, pff, I agree with you. Yeah, you don't have to make it worth the shipping. Uh, rewards will rotate in between launches ish. We don't have a, a concrete schedule, but if you see something in rewards that you want, the next time you plan to order, you should just redeem that reward because it may not be there the next time we refresh before the next launch. I like this way of release plus sale. Okay. I'm glad they were done together. I only order if there are enough polishes I want to get free shipping. Mm hmm. What's this? The best-selling creme today, excluding pastels, black and white, is work bestie. Work, work bestie. Everyone's just feeling purple. Is that what it is? You see this? You see me? You see the new polishes, and you're like purple, purple, purple. <laughs> We've brainwashed all of our customers to only buy purple. <laughs> oh maybe because it's also in our rewards <laughs> yeah that could totally be it good point good point could be it and the couch is purple yeah i bought a purple couch just for this event the best-selling topper is silver flake taco which makes a lot of sense to me because it's our newest topper because that was released in during 12 days of christmas so it makes sense that that's yeah mm-hmm they turned out so pretty. Since it's limited edition, it's still stocked enough to buy it tomorrow. I know we made a ton of them. Like we made more than birthday. So I, I don't like, listen, listen. <clears throat> I hate it when companies release something that is limited edition and then they're gone in like 30 minutes or an hour. And it's like, dude, like I'm, I'm working. I was planning on buying and I couldn't even come. I didn't even have time to go to the website. I don't wanna do that. So we use data from past limited edition launches to help us gauge how much we need to make sure that that experience doesn't happen. But at the same time, we, you know, try not to make stuff for like a year. <laughs> so we made a lot, we did, because we don't want to do that. We don't want that to be the customer experience. Now, sometimes we can't control it. You know, sometimes something has sold out on stream, but then we use that data to try and prepare for next time as much as we can, as much as we can get stock of, can get all the components or everything required to do that. But yeah, we, we made so much of this collection to make sure that that doesn't happen. So you're good. You know, I, if you're here though, you're probably like able to shop if you're listening, <laughs> if you're paying attention to this live stream and not working. <laughs> But yeah, my hope is that, you know, it's fine. You can pick it up tomorrow. But I also wanted to consolidate your shipping efforts and thinking of international customers or even domestic US customers who want sale items and the royalty polishes. You can put them in the same cart in the same order uh, th this weekend. Yeah, gotta love forecasting. Also, also hate it. <laughs> gotta hate it though. Shout out to Mint Mojito. That's not my mod. Procrastination. Did you recruit people 
for Min Mojito Praise. Uh, nail files. Oh, yes. The other colors. We did phase out two of the older colors of our nail files and just decided to keep one. And that's just for supply chain consolidation efforts. It made more sense for us just to maintain one nail file. So that's the purple pink. Purple pink is our kind of more permanent file. She is always recruiting that procrastination. Makes sense to me. Makes sense. Cheers. Okay, I also have detective stuff that I'd love to do. So we did comparisons. I showed you some combos. Mmm. Hold on a second. Ben's favorite new polish is toe beans. Thanks, Ben. That's uh, That data point was, you know, really hard to get, but he did it. Tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm thinking of waiting to make an order. I'm afraid the limited edition. I think you'll be okay, Rose Gold. Don't tell anyone else. I think you can wait because you're waiting to get your code in in your email. Yeah, I think you're good. You're good. You're good. Toe Beans is such a great shade name. I know, and you guys picked it. You guys picked it. What would we do without Ben? <laughs> he liked that shade name too, and so did Menchie, obviously. Okay, I want to do detectives. Should we do detectives? Okay, we gotta get the music. Hold on a second. taco detectives you know who they are they're in the simply an illogical discord server they're now most recently also in my new facebook group you can put exclamation facebook in the chat or exclamation discord to find my official servers and groups there's a group of people who every launch try and predict what we're gonna release. Now this one, they had way more fun with than usual because not only are they hollow taco detectives, but they are also, many of them, hollow royalty. Ben, what is this? Who uses Facebook anymore? Slender! For your information, I pulled this chat a couple months ago and asked people if you use Facebook and over 50% said yes. So I was like, okay, shit, I guess I should finally make my own Facebook group seven years too late. <laughs> so I do have my own that I run, that I comment in and participate in. It didn't work? Yes, it did. It's right there. Stream elements. It's a group you have to hit join. You have to say yes to the rules. Blah, blah, blah. That's if you're on Facebook. There's two types of people in this world. There's Facebook people and Discord people. One is a... You know, a little more refined posting. There's more order. And one is chaos. Discord is chaos. Let's see what they did this launch. <clears throat> oh, yes. Shout out to my Discord mods who have to deal with this chaos every single day. We have a detective's desk. Swatch wheels have fallen. A detective's desk where people will compile evidence and information for easy access and viewing. All right, so first you noticed that I was taking pictures. You saw me taking pictures on purple velvet. Guess what, it's this. Uh-huh, that's not a background. That's a cape I bought on Amazon. <laughs> I bought my cape on Amazon and I was like, oh shit, I could just use this as a background. <laughs> there you go. Okay. 
So you knew, you knew from day one when I leaked the shot that I was taking pictures on purple velvet. So you were all like, purple frosted metal, it's gonna be real. Big, su big surprise, big shocker. Then you went back to all the evidence that I'd already given you guys about the prototypes. I gave Hollow Royalty an update a couple weeks ago. And this is some of the sh these shots are also from an exclusive stream that I did for Hollow Royalty that was only available for like 24 hours, like several months ago when we were first developing the prototypes. So, so many of you have like screenshotted every single prototype, my showing of them and you know, all the stuff over the past few months and compiled it for those who maybe missed it or compiled it for further discussion. The first teaser dropped and it was just half the crown. And you guys were like circling and pointing out, wait, what could it be? I see it on this side of the packaging. What is it? Who is it? And then you drew this. Someone drew this in the Discord and they, they found us out. Like they, they figured it out that if you draw a crown on both sides, that it would make that shape if you put them together. Like iconic, shout out. Look at this, this is like recreation evidence level. Like I would hire you as an expert witness in my trial, okay? When I go to the royal court, I would hire you for this amazing evidence. Good job. In my Facebook group, someone said, wait, is there two polishes? And I said, all will be revealed. Three crown emojis. <laughs> Guys, you have to pay more attention. You have to pay attention to what I say. <laughs> And then someone on Holo Taco's socials, uh, before we announced how many there was, someone had said, is this limited edition? And then our customer service said, yes, these polishes are limited edition. Before we said that there was more than one. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. It was like an oversight obviously <laughs> but like people screenshotted this and then shared it in discord or facebook and they were like see there's more than one <laughs> we outed ourselves r.i.p to us we did it usually it's me leaking shit this time customer service participated <laughs> see we both do it it's fine you know you can't hold me accountable everyone's accountable you know we always leak and stuff oops <laughs> Shout out to that social media person, yeah. Okay, then the podcast went live and you spotted this behind me. I thought this was going to throw you off. Ben said I shouldn't show it because it'd be like clear it was three. And I was like, but wait a second, okay? If I put two of them and you see the crown since they've, since they've already predicted that, and then I put one facing forwards, maybe people will just think that I just took a duplicate of one of them just to show you the front of it so that it's not actually three. So I intentionally thought that it could confuse people. They might confirm now it's two, but they weren't sure if it was three. <laughs> Tricky, tricky, I'm so tricky. And I think it worked because people were still confused. Were you confused? Or did you take a screen grab of me editing the launch video and isolate colors in my timeline? Who did this? Who's circling colors in my editing bay? I mean, it was obvious. There was, there was a lot of purple like that. That was always the case. But you know, you, you guys were on the case. And then, where's my crown? Then I bought this off Amazon and it did not look like the picture. As everything else is our experience on Amazon. Okay, after you guys saw my crown, you went to Amazon to figure out which crown it was. <laughs> <laughs> this is your research, detectives, to try and isolate which crown. Some of you thought I bought the blue crown because it looked blue, because, like, it's not that purple, you know? And you were trying to figure out what color is the crown, because it could mean what color is the nail polish. So some of you posted these listings, but then someone posted this, and they were like, well, it doesn't look like that. But I'll have you know, this 
is this? That is what I thought I was buying on the internet, but it just was way darker. <laughs> but yeah, whoever shared this picture with this purple, that is what I bought. It's just, it doesn't look as purple. You know, you win some, you lose some on Amazon. <laughs> and then we launched, or we posted this. This was in the exclusive email that went out. We sent it to everyone this time for Hollow Explorers, Watchers, and Royalty. So you guys saw, it was always revealed. It was a purple frosted metal because how could we not entice you with this juicy, sparkly clip? Delicious. Makes so much sense why there's an overlap between Simply Fans and Swifties, the Easter eggs, the scheming. I did not get this from her. I've just been, this is just my life. This is just how I live my life. <laughs> so I, I was like, let's reveal it. Full out, purple frost metal, no blurring, do it. Give the people what they want. And the people went wild. Oh, the people went so wild, like what? The level of obsessed purple chaotic memes that circled in my Discord during this period of time after the purple frosted metal was revealed called for all mods on deck. All mods on deck were like, what? And I can't keep up because there's 300, 700, 3,000 unread messages overnight. Is this normal? It is normal, actually. This is quite normal in the Simply and Illogical Discord server. The amount of purple <laughs> memes and people excited was uh, kind of chaotic, but also a little bit of everything. Why are we like this? I don't know. Did I do this to you guys? Probably. And then once you knew it was three, because you saw this, you know, just me giving you a sneaky little overlay, me playing with filters, me like, oh, will they think it's just a double? Or will they actually conclude it's three? You guys know to inspect every single frame of material that I give you. That's why I gotta be so careful. <laughs> I gotta be the most careful influencer on the internet because I know my detectives are screenshotting literally everything and then they're mapping it out. They're like, this is clearly this and this is this and this and this. Well, you were wrong. So I have to unfortunately report, detectives, that so many of you were wrong. <laughs> I think you guys thought it was gonna be the crushed hollow, the light purple, but I would respectfully, you know, give you some advice for the next time you're doing this, okay? Just, just, just take it as advice. When picturing the final polishes to be released, Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna do the votes. We're gonna listen to the data first. That was number one. But after that, it's also worth considering that LP1 and LP2 are somewhat similar in terms of color impression. Now, if you ask me, I would say they're totally different because one's a crushed hollow and one's a hollow glitter with a green shimmer. So like totally not the same. However, for all the normies out there, <laughs> some people will feel like they're too similar so that they don't really need both. So with that context in mind, paired with the votes of which one was, was pulling stronger, ultimately LP2 was gonna be the one of the two in terms of our final decision. That's something like we kind of realized later on. And l just may I remind you, the votes were super close for the ones in the middle. Purple frost metal, top, no questions. Green frost metal, bottom, no, no questions. Everything else, less clear. What is this, Ben, join the Hollow Taco Carrier Pigeon Club? Is that what we're called now? I want to take a moment to shout out Erilyn's detective work. They work overtime and ne never disappoint. Thanks, mods. Shout out to Erilyn and all the detectives in the Discord server. You guys do great work. So yeah, you're trying to map it out, trying to figure out which one is gonna be released. Simply tell us, which one? Is this this? I'm drawing arrows everywhere. What is this? Explain yourselves right now. Why is there a frog on my thumb? Why is there an eggplant? Kiwi, avocado, lemon, broccoli for voting? What? So you're voting with frog eggplants? Like, 
No, no, no. That's not, that's not a reason. That's not a valid explanation. That's an explanation. It's, you still need to explain yourselves. <laughs> purple is green. Just like, oh, you, no, purple is orange. What are you talking about? Yes, I know. There were there were people pulling for polishes that weren't chosen. I hear you. I hear you. And statistically, that was always going to happen. There was always going to be polishes that were would not be the end result. So, you know, just appreciate that your fellow peers uh, won and you didn't. <laughs> this is a democracy. It is also a democracy ruled by me with final say in terms of context and qualitative considerations. <laughs> Uh, I also know what else is coming out this year, and you don't. So, I'll just say that. Okay, we dropped this picture, and you guys were mapping it. Look, this person was right! Whoever did this, you were correct. You pulled it. You got it. You got the pink linear. A lot of people m had the pink linear mistaken for quite some time. I was beginning to lose faith in detectives. But look at this. Look, what is this? Like a heat map? This is like a, a geographical topography map or some shit. Are these the tectonic plates of nail polish? Is this our kingdom? This is a map, right? Of our kingdom. Okay. Where's the castle? Is the castle in the middle? And then we have a river of purple frost and metal. We have a, a region of hollow with green shifties. We have a who are you land. It's the land of the who are you. We, we, we're guarding that land to make sure we figure it out. <laughs> what a wonderful map. Good job, guys. Again, this person was right. Pink shimmer, question mark. It's got to be P3. Congratulations. And then there was a lot of this. You know, there's two types of people in the Discord. There's people who draw on pictures. And then there's people who write essays. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, some of you, I'm sure, have like graduated with master's degrees uh, that are 200 pages in length, or have submitted final essays, uh, you know, and gotten A's on them because all you do is write incredibly rich and informative essays. You summarize the points, you have amazing recaps. Maybe you're like executives in whatever you do. You write executive briefing memos day to day, right? It's chaotic good versus lawful good. There's two types. I fucking hate writing. It, it's a good thing you're a doctor instead. You don't need to write, just save, save lives. <laughs> That's the third type of person in the Discord. There's less of them though. We need more of those. Let's let, let's sell out frozen bananas. Frozen, Ben, no! Frozen bananas might sell out today. Oh yeah, frozen bananas has, has been low stock. And um, yeah, I don't know about that one. I, I don't want to give any alarming news. So I will refrain from speaking. <laughs> but uh, if it sells out, I have no notes to report on a restock at this time. This is the work of a project manager. Shout out to all the project managers. Without project managers, everyone would fail. Honestly, respectfully, every all, all of us, everyone else who's not a project manager, we're all fucked without project managers. So shout out to all the project managers. You guys do great work. You keep us in line. You keep us on track. You're, you're always saying, are we trending green? I hope we're always trending green. This collection was trending purple always, but... <laughs> Me, project manager, stressed. Ex-project manager, agree. Yeah, you're, you're either a project manager or a chaos coordinator. Sometimes they're the same position. It depends on who you're working with. But shout out to, I think this was Rayleigh in our Discord. There's a few of you who do this, so big shout out to you guys because so many people in the Discord rely on the chaos managers in the Discord <laughs> to write information like this, to summarize things I've said on stream, to summarize things that have come out from Hollow Taco, and put them together in a really clear way so that other people can benefit just from reading the too long didn't read, except this is a lot to read. <laughs> but there's a lot of information, you know? So with that, 
this is fine. You know, the Discord server is fine. And so are we all with the outcome, the response, the energy, the excitement. We just shout out to everyone who was calling purple, who was excited for purple, who changed this meme to purple because uh, they could not contain their excitement. And that's all I have for you, Hello Taco Detectives. You are welcome to join in on the detective work in the Simply Analogical Discord server. You can also start doing it in the new Facebook group. But just remember, we have a thread, Holo Taco Detectives, or sorry, a channel, where the chaos ensues. You can ask questions and get follow-ups. And then we have a somewhat recent detective's desk, where we're now having specific evidence files for each new project file. Project managers love this. <laughs> we had the royal research file, and we're gonna make a new one for whatever the next release is, you know? Whatever it is, there's gonna be a new file dropping soon, new evidence file. Get yourself informed. What's this? Ben, our AOV today is 20, approximately 29% higher. <laughs> Hold on, I'll explain in a sec. Let me just put my music back. <clears throat> Where's my music? Here we go. Average order volume is AOV is approximately 29% higher today. That's crazy. Crazy. Or sorry, value, not volume. What am I? Attack on volume. Pick what it says. Almost over Valentine's. <laughs> attack, attack on, uh, Vacuums. Attack on vacuums today is 29% higher than normal. Crazy. Stop attacking those vacuums. You guys are wild. <laughs> it looks like my crown is leaving. No, this is just what happens. You know, it's like if I had a halo, it would always be crooked. No, it's average order value, Ben said. Hollow Taco X Dyson vacuums coming up soon. That's our next collab. But yeah, that's crazy. Thank you, Ben. That's almost a a third higher than normal and that's because people are stocking up on classics essentials things they've missed from recent launches or whatever and getting the new loyalty they're really capitalizing on this sale that is only this weekend just as a reminder only this weekend and then we're never we're we're not doing another royalty sale like this until next year and we're gonna reevaluate how this went, if there's any changes we need to make, the process of the royalty polish picking as well. We're gonna look at that and kind of evaluate what it's gonna look like next year. But this is the only time where Hollow Taco customers, existing customers, get that sale until Black Friday, where it's gonna be kind of the standard thing we did last year, probably. I mean, we haven't finalized that because we have some time. But yeah, Black Friday is a bit more like for everyone not just customers. Okay, this this is uh this is looking a little crazy. Sorry, I missed a big super chat. Let me go back. Let me go back. Amateur nailer. I got the royalty bundle and backups, also refills for circuit breaker, hot wire pink, red licorice. Oh, you got like a rainbow in here. Green taffy, orange drink, menchi, scattered hollow taco, and each base coat and three super glass tacos. Let's go. That's amazing. Thank you for your super chat too. Yeah, the the crown is giving it's giving cuts into my head. That's what it's giving. It's uh it's giving murder. Because look at these sharp little things. They kind of cut into your head over time. Do not recommend. This is also very heavy. You know, don't get in a fight with me when I'm wearing this thing. <laughs> oh my God. I'll have to put it on the skeleton, yeah. You want the crown? I just said how bad it was. <laughs> it's not good. I mean, I will put it on my Amazon page later if you're, if you're serious. But uh, being loyalty is pain, you know? It's a pain in my ass, actually. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty! No. <laughs> royalty, royalty, royalty! I always thought the song said royalty, not loyalty. So I've been singing royalty, royalty, royalty around the house, thinking that's what the song was, but I was wrong. Oh, 
What percentage of your of your customers are Hello Taco? Well, I already told you what's it was on stream. What was it? Seventy six percent? Was it seventy six or seventy nine? A wild majority of people on stream are Hollow Taco. Us, our Hollow Taco, our Hollow Taco royalty. That's that's insane. And we do have a lot of people in our royalty program, and that's because the royalty program launched in July, so people have had more time to land in the program. So there is a lot of people now who are royalty who were not royalty when the polishes were initially voted on back in September and December. People have graduated to royalty. Can we vote? Oh yeah, let's vote. Okay, why did I not do this yet? Who am I? A bad queen, bad queen. Okay, we're gonna vote. Let me get you some visuals. Pick your fave. What's your fave? Fave. What's your face? What's your fave royalty polish? Creation. Be careful, cause you guys, you guys made these, so you know, don't hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> Royal crush, and then I want to see the sales. Yeah, Ben, can you? Or is it too early to tell? Okay, go ahead and vote if you're live in the chat now. Which of the three is your favorite? If you had to pick one, the Susan polls do not allow for more granularity. So, you know, it's gonna be a pick one, that's it. Go ahead and vote in the poll now. What's your fave royalty polish creation created by you guys? What did Ben say now? Everyone's saying stop Ben, I don't even know what he said. I can't find him. There's too many of you in the chat. Where has Ben? He cannot be found. He cannot be stopped. Okay. Uh, oh, on screen? Hollow Toggle X Fenty Beauty. Bitch better have my money. <laughs> Bitch better have my money. Mm. I actually love that song. I used to dance to that song all the time when it came out. When I was a young lady. When I was a young lady. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of like that lyric reminds me of mint money like that polish already exists okay that song in a polish already exists it's called mint money <laughs> bitch better have my mint money <laughs> put on a hollow taco <laughs> bitch better have mint money yeah there you go bitch better have mint money rihanna where are you at girl like you want to collab <laughs> That song came out in 2015. Yeah, that's almost 10 years ago. I was like 20 something. Just a young lady. Pay me what you owe me. Put it in your cart. Add it to your wish list. Now, now, now. Hello, Taco. <laughs> like, rap, rap, rap. Yeah, 10 years ago. I know. We're all so old. Okay, you're voting. Ben, can you give me some information about the sales? I'm gonna just guess before Ben even tells me. I'm gonna guess that what we have here is the same as sales. I, I think that's the case. I, I'm gonna guess that Royal Crush is the clear leader in terms of individual sales, although most people are picking up the trio. And then Glamethys is in the middle, and Toe Beans is last. But there's only three, so like someone has to be in third. <laughs> That's my guess. And I think that's because purple has been such a clear driver for you guys. Like you guys are obsessed with purple. Like it's like it's it's crazy. Like <laughs> the amount of purple freaks and fans, it's wild. So that makes sense to me. Okay, Ben says most people are buying the trio, so there's not as much difference between the three, which makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, that most people are just picking up all three. Most people are like, I can't choose. I will take them all, please. Give me the entire limited edition trio, please. Yes, thank you. Okay, but 
Ben has confirmed that the order is the same, but the gaps are much smaller than what this this proportion thing is telling you. So yeah, like it's not gonna be as wide of a distribution as like the difference between these. They're much closer, they're tighter in sales, but toe beans is in third in sales, but it's like super tight. Got it, okay. But the order is still the same. Interesting, interesting. Th this was a little more predictable. Even in our forecasting, because we had to forecast for this as well, we did think that the purple frosted metal would sell the best, and that, that does seem to be the case. But right now, everyone's buying everything, so it's harder to kind of discern that. But over time, you know, if, if you know, as we, since we made so much of them, my hope, my hope is that we do get more data to be able to be like, yes, we were forecasting which one would do better appropriately. Sorry, the music is a lot. Frozen bananas is sold out. Man. Is there anything else that's sold out? The display rack is sold out and frozen bananas, right? R.I.P. to Ben's shade. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye, frozen bananas. We love you. Anyone who has frozen bananas, that would look so good with Royal Crush as an accent, Manny. Yeah. Can't go wrong with purple. Uh, Xyler didn't sell out. Xyler's not in stock. So Xyler is, is not available anyways. Um, Zeller's been out of stock for some time because of me. It's my fault. I am ridiculous. I designed Zyler with like the very most specific types of copper glitters. And then we ran into a supply issue with pigments that are in this polish. My fault. This is what happens, Christine, when you pick the most complicated as fuck pigments. So because of me, <laughs> this polish has been sold out for too long. We are working on it. We have sourced something, but it's going to take a couple more months to go through all the testing and to finally be back in stock. But we are planning on restocking Zyler, so just hit notify me. But um, it is going to be a couple months. Uh, I don't know about frozen bananas. Frozen bananas was always planned as a seasonal polish, but we decided to just kind of keep it in stock for longer than seasonal. Um, it's also been around for like two years, so we have to reevaluate when seasonal polishes do come back for this year like the christmas hollow glitters for example that are on the website now because we have so many seasonal christmas themed polishes we're gonna have to do some picking and choosing next season this upcoming holiday season about which ones we can fit because now we have more <laughs> we have a little bit more you know what i mean and the the flake tacos as well were added favorite sister is also seasonal so I don't know. When something is seasonal, we plan to bring it back for next season, but it's not a guarantee because A, we have to check on pigments and availability, and B, we have to evaluate how many seasonal polishes we're bringing back. So there is a possibility, and there's always been this possibility, I've explained this before about the Christmas glitters, that we will try to bring them all back, but there may be some pigments that prevent us from bringing one or more of them back. So that's why you should get something that you really wanted while it was available and in stock because I'm not going to be able to make promises for things returning. But you can always, if it's on the website, hit notify me and we'll use that data. But sometimes data isn't the only factor. We do have to evaluate just how much stuff we are able to do for restocks for seasonal and also pigments. R.I.P. Bana to Banana Hacks go? Oh! Banana Hacks is gone! Finally! <laughs> okay, Banana Hacks was one of the discontinued retired polishes that we phased out early in January, but we had enough stock of Banana Hacks that it lasted until now. <laughs> Let's give a nice send off! Banana Hacks! It's been nice knowing you with your delicious, vibrant, in your face yellow creme formula. When life presents you with a challenge, it's time to clear out the banana hacks. This soft yellow banana creme polish was just so appealing.
that it wasn't appealing to enough people. And the data said that we should put a banana in your ear and phase out the, the polish and send it into retirement. We salute you, banana hacks. Thank you. Thank you for your two years of service. And uh, we hope you enjoy life in the afterlife. <laughs> R.I.P. Instead, we have banana medicine, the newest, freshest recruit. <laughs> Selling way better than banana hacks ever sold. What else do we still have? We still have chameleon coat, eh? So chameleon coat was also a phased out polish announced in January, but they're still stuck. It's still your chance to get it. <laughs> when, this is the last one standing. Oh no, the worst selling polish like literally ever. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so cool. Like what's wrong with you guys? Like what, what? I know someone has to be last, but like look how versatile this polish is. Yeah, it's like an army muty-ish green on, in some lights, but then it kind of pops brighter green in some lights. It's such a great shade. Like, put a hollow taco on this and people are like, whoa, what the fuck is that nail polish? It's so cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I hope you pick this up in the loyalty sale, okay? Because uh, once this sells out, yes, it will be retired, but we, we just, we had a lot of it. That's why it's still around. <laughs> Go on and get it. Don't be shy. Yeah, we really did accidentally make too much of this some time ago. You can get it in the slept on ch Oh, look, people are doing better marketing than I can. <laughs> you can get chameleon coat in this wonderful slept on shades bundle. <laughs> Amazing, look, our worst selling shades in one bundle. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, I got you. I made a bundle of the worst selling shades. You know, figured it's what customers would want. Here you go. Five of our worst selling shades in one convenient bundle. Don't sleep on it. What's wrong with you? Okay, you gotta show love for the blues, the greens, the cremes, the yellows, the oranges. Mm. Some good formulas in here too, a multi-chrome. Three linear hollows, the underdogs. Here, what happens? If I add it to my bag, let's see how much it is. Okay, well, I gotta get rid of the other 88 things. I gotta remove the ripening hollow banana bundle, the hollow barista bundle, the polished mountain bundle, the pastel bundle. Let's go get it. Hold on, I'm gonna see how much it would be if I remove it. I put too much shit in my cart. Anyone else can relate? Don't do what I'm doing. Don't remove them. Only I'm removing. <laughs> okay, here. Look. Slept on shades, 20% off for hollow royalty. Look at those prices, that's amazing! That's so good! Incredible, we're doing incredible things. Sorry for annoying question. No annoying questions here. If you would do this event again, would you rule out purple? Cause I can see people vote for it again. Interesting question. And th this is something that we're gonna have to see next year in terms of voting. First of all, I think, okay, reflecting on the process, debrief, customer debrief. I learned a lot this round. I think I would probably change some ways I went about the survey. I think like this year we did the survey in two phases. We did phase one, vote your favorite formula independently, vote your favorite color independently. Now pick a tone of that color, now pick that. So we did a lot of asking questions and then we made prototypes and then we did a part two. I think the unintended consequence, if I'm just being real, of doing the part two, of showing you guys the polishes meant that people would just be kind of upset that they didn't win, you know? Which, uh, you know, I love showing prototypes and I'm never gonna stop showing some amount of prototypes because I think 
People like to see the process, the creative behind the scenes, so I'm still gonna do that. But I am very cognizant of people who just like used it as an opportunity to kind of indirectly bash on the things that people ultimately did vote for or that won. So that's not something I love the most, you know? So that's something I don't think is the best. Because uh, if your peers are voting for something, and they, then they kind of won for a reason. So I think there, there's some things that I'm reflecting on how I would tweak the process next year. But overall, I loved doing this. And overall, I, I, we are going to do something similar where Hollow Royalty will have exclusive input to develop something. But we might just change how, what's shared, when, and how the data is collected to get there. Mm -hmm. Ben is killing me. Hollow Royalty, anything but purple collection 2024. I, I <clears throat> and back to, to Chatter's question, I wonder if even if we did, just, just for funsies, not necessarily that, that we're gonna use this data in this way, but just for funsies, if next year we repeated part one, which was asking just like, what color would you want? I think less people might say purple, because presumably a lot of people in royalty next year will still have been in royalty this year. So I do think that's a continuous group of people. Thank you for being there this whole time. Um, but I think because of that, there's gonna be less people saying purple because they feel like they got it last year. But I don't know, you know, we'll see next year what people feel. I think there's there's a difference though in like us collecting the data and then us deciding what to do with the data. So maybe I'm still on team collect the data anyways, but give people different ways to vote on what it would be if we decide from a qualitative perspective that we're we're gonna move from purple. You know what I mean? It's a good point though. This is something that we're gonna consider. <laughs> Cause I hear you. Overall, like part of the decision making for Hollow Taco as well is also considering what's coming next that you guys don't know. What do we have planned for 2024? What do we think is coming right before and after the Hollow Royalty event? So also kind of considering that, like I wouldn't want to do an all purple collection right after this, obviously, cause that would be a lot. So we do have to consider these things, but also listen to you guys and what you guys vote in. Cause that, that's the whole point of this is to let you pick what you want and majority wins, majority rules. You have destroyed my ability to hear say the word decal in any way but yours. I get corrected by everyone. It's a decal. What are you talking about? It's just a decal. I love all colors except purple. <laughs> I mean, like maybe, maybe next year I'll include a joke question and it's like, pick a color, don't pick purple. Or like, I'll put an X on the purple, like, so you can't pick it. <laughs> Do we like the mixed formula too? Christine needs coloring crowns while she's waiting for her bagel. Ben, you did this to hear my stupid word pronunciation. Ben is trolling me. You didn't put decal in it. You, you need a decal. Decal, 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 decal. <laughs> Ben is the worst producer ever. Like, who, who does this? It's a bagel. I don't know. Isn't that like the New York way of saying it? A bagel? I don't know why. I can't even blame Canadian. There's too many Canadians in this chat to know that I'd be lying if I said it, I blamed it on Canadian. <laughs> a button. You forgot button. Kitten. A button. A bagel. No, Christine. What? No, what? Bagel. That's South Jersey? It is? I have eczema. <laughs> I have eczema. I have so much eczema. I need a bagel and a nail decal. And where's my crown? Not this crown, my coloring crown. Simply, thank you for being awesome. This chatter thinks I'm awesome. Remember that. We love you and your nail polishes. Can't wait to receive them. Me too, moody exorcist. Can't wait. Crown is also South Jersey. Maybe I'm from South Jersey. I don't know what happened. Who am I? What is my accent? You guys tell me. 
I don't know where I learned things. I had to call my bank for them to approve. What? <laughs> Thanks for caring so much for your customers, Christine. Your hair looks gorgeous. Thank you, Yuna. I'm glad your bank approved of your purchase. You called up your bank and you're like, excuse me. Release the funds. It's the royalty trio and they're limited edition. What is wrong with you? I would like to spend my money responsibly and respectfully on polishes that I will enjoy. Do as I say, or I withdraw all of my funds. <laughs> and then you go to your bank like two weeks later and you're like, <clears throat> listen, you asked, I'll show you why. Here you go. Tell her. <laughs> Release the funds. All right, going back outside says only one of you. Only one of you says good. The scrunchie sold out? No! Oh, it's because it was a reward. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't speak. Scrunchies. Did they sell out? You, I like how you guys are telling me this and I'm, I'm not paying attention. They did sell out. This is what happens. Cabs are here. The cabs are here. Who wants a bagel? Cabs are here. <laughs> this is what happens when you make good things a reward like that's that's the problem so if you're in our rewards program which you can you don't have to be in any tier you can just like join you have to join and sign up with an account and once you get points then you can redeem them but the problem is like when something is a reward we know that a lot of people are kind of cashing out with it so yeah that's what happened because scrunchies was a reward. That's what happened to the nail toolkit. Because it was a reward. Too many people were getting it for free. That it made us sell out. <laughs> Just another thing for us to consider. Um, in terms of like for scrunchies or dad hats or any of those kind of items. I don't know if we're going to be restocking those types of items. Just because the minimum order quantities is a lot. And... <clears throat> That and the, the cost of them, you know, like it's not necessarily the same as when we first got them. So, yeah. But don't act, don't be mad. You didn't care about these before. So <laughs> don't, don't pretend, don't pretend now like you care when they've been available for like two years. No, 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 I will not. I will not accept that behavior. No, nope, you, you did not. <laughs> Just give away 10 dad hats to a single person. Oh, I should have set up the giveaway thing <laughs> just to do that. <laughs> Don't lie to me. I know if something's been on the store for for years and I can tell from the sales and it's been available in points redemption. You're not allowed to get mad at me. No, no. If, if it gets removed two years later, that's not. Nope. Be reasonable. Reasonable chatters only. Cheers. <clears throat> Understood. We are never mad at royalty. We behave like royalty, period. No one is upset. A <laughs> hundred layers of dad hats. Oh my God, Ben, are you gonna do that? You should. See how many you can put up. Um, no, I, I don't think we're going to be restocking scrunchies for the, like, one person asking. Uh, we need to set, set boundaries. You need to understand. Oh my god, that I have an eyelash in my eye. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Off with their heads. Behave in the chat, or I will remove you myself. Or I will command my moderators. No, no one get emotional over dad hats or scrunchies. <laughs> Do androids dream of electric sheep? What does that mean? Is that a reference to Detroit Become Human? I'm, I'm confused. Bought the barista bundle as a gift for my sis. She's not royalty. <laughs> don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her what it's like in the club. Hello Taco tri Trivia Day to give away dad hats. Okay. <laughs> we, can, we can do it. It's a book. It's a song. Oh. 
I don't know that book song. I'm so mad I didn't get Chameleon Coat. You can get it now. It's still available, right? Everyone behave or she's gonna... Behave or I'm gonna turn this sale around. No complaining about products that have been in stock for years that no one is buying. Being sold out and us maybe deciding reasonably to not bring them back because no one is buying them and it's been two years. Like, okay. <laughs> Check yourselves. <laughs> the scrunchies released after I shaved my head on during my mom's first chemo treatment. So it is the one holo pro product, holo taco product I do not own. Uh, I understand that. Yeah, that makes sense. But um, that, that's so cool that you did that for your mom. That's super kind. Thank you, Amateur Nail Art, for sharing that with us. How about flip-flops for those of us in the South? Ah. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know how well that would sell. <laughs> Respectfully. Also, because, like, what about those of us who don't go outside? What about those of us who uh, live in the winter always, like in Canada? It's nothing personal. It's just business, you know? It's the queen's gambit. That's me, I'm the queen. And this is the gambit. Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep is a book? Oh, it was turned into the movie. Oh, I, I, things I do not know. Can we have a mug? Would you guys actually buy a mug? I mean, I know people in the chat are going to say this, but then ultimately what has proven to be the case is that customers just buy nail polish. <laughs> Generally. <laughs> so you say this, but I don't know. I'm also looking into, I, I feel like I've mentioned this before, but I am looking into doing simply related stuff, like simply related things, working on a few things. I have a couple amazing designers helping me out. We're exploring some options. So there is hope on that front. There is hope. And we can be a little bit more chaotic in that line of thinking because uh, cause I don't have to, to talk to anyone. I can just decide and do it in two seconds <laughs> if it's simply related. <clears throat> Working on things. A shot glass? You guys are, you guys want weird shit. Nail oil, okay. <laughs> I know. I've been promising you nail oil for like three years. It's a meme at this point, basically. It is still something we are actively working on. But it looks and is different in component than uh, the only teaser you saw of it. So I, I will just tell you that, that it's different. We're working on it, but there's, um, there's way more like engineering <laughs> required. And as a result, like testing, it's not the formula. The formula has been for like two years, three years, because it's my formula. It's very basic and simple. I basically shared it with you, you know, no secrets there, but it's a, uh, it's the component. It's the component that's taking so long, but I want it to be perfect. Girl, 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 girl. Is that how you say this? Girl, just realizing I need to make room on my nail polish wall for the royalty trail. You better make room, better make three slots right now, Tessa. Hollow taco olive oil? No, Ben. Nail oil. Nail polish is not edible. Neither is nail oil. Do not put nail oil, nail polish, glossy taco on your food. I mean, if you do, you will suffer consequences and I will not be held liable. So my advice is to not do so. But I also am not in control of your own actions and behaviors that only you will be accountable for. <laughs> I need a Holodago logo sticker for your car. Really? Well, that's free advertising right there. You just paid $2 to tell me that you would do free advertising for me. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> what did this turn into? 
You guys just like at wait 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 a second wait Hold on Hold on order in the royal court <clears throat> This stream started as Revealing you guys design three polishes and now two hours later you guys are just thinking you can ask for whatever you want What is this? You think you can just make all the demands now? Who told you that you were in charge? Who told you that your choice wins? Who said this? Yes? No! 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 That's not how it's gonna work! I am your queen! Order! Order! <laughs> oh my god! You guys are wild! I, I told, yeah, I told you you were royalty. Was that a mistake? Because now you think you have so much power that you can just say, give me this, I expected next month, thank you. Everything will go according to my plan. I will submit an email with exactly my list of demands and they will be released in due time, thank you. Off with chat's head. Holotaco weighted blanket? Come on, man, like that is the most niche product. Brooke, Brooke, girl. Do you really think that we would make weighted blankets for the 18 of you who would be interested in purchasing it? Come on. This is free market research. Give us stickers. <laughs> Mutual latte, I like your name. Okay, is is stickers the highest thing on your priority list, really? You know? Of all the crazy cool nail polish stuff we do. You're like, stickers? That's what you want? Stickers? Wow. Incredible. Hear me out. Candles? Candles. Okay, we're, we're gonna burn down the house? That could be fun. I could have a good time. Magnets? I mean, like, we have magnetic wands. That's a magnet. Wallpaper. Wallpaper. Okay, you could plaster your house in hollow. I mean, I would like that, personally. I could do this room. Hoodies, hairpins, stickers, display rack. I have, we have one. I would, just kidding, it's sold out. Everyone's going too fast. I would buy all the stickers, okay. A hollow taco nail polish bottle, plushy pillow. I would not buy though, but it'd be nice. <laughs> Do you understand that when you make a uh, wild requests and then you don't purchase them That you make us never want to listen to you again <laughs> Where if we make shit that you wanted and then you don't buy it. I will never believe you again No, no, no. I will have trust issues. You give me trust issues. That's why I can't trust chat. That's nope I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Cancel the chat! Off with, off with your heads! <laughs> I will just sit here in my purple cape with my crooked crown and just ignore everyone. Chat is canceled. I, 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 I can't believe you guys. I can't trust you. I don't know what you want. You say you want something and then you don't buy it. So I'm like, okay, well, uh, can't, we're canceling all around to you for next year too. <laughs> Why am I crying? It's the royal curse. Have you guys settled down now? <laughs> Thinner? Okay, we're actually working on that though. I hear you. That one is also a, a complicated, complicated componentry thing. Nail vinyls also being investigated. Queen, please forgive us. I forgive silly munchkins only. That's it. That's the only apology I accept. Can you please play Final Fantasy VII Remake next gaming stream? There's a nail polish application? Really? <laughs> Thank you, Sephora Rothschild, for the super chat. Final Fantasy Remake. Ben will have to tell me what this is. 
but I I love a nail polish application. Okay, I'm I'm being choked by this. I'm sitting on it. Hold on. <clears throat> I promise you I would buy a hoodie. Also, it's a challenging thing because we have to have like many, many sizes, which just makes it uh, difficult, you know, but uh, uh, lots of things are being investigated. What the fuck is a dappin dish? Why do you keep repeating this? Bunny, I hear you. I think that's m more for people who do like gel or acrylics because you need the dappin dish for whatever. I know people also use it for acetone but I, I kind of think it's just not, um, with our customer base, it's just not as many people doing that kind of level. Like you guys are on the next level, you know what I mean? Would you be able to make the hollow it's me or hollow sexual t-shirts again? I didn't have a chance to buy them. I'm thinking about doing simply related stuff that can include like hollow it's me with like little stars, but different, but more mature, mature, <laughs> but more like on theme with my current simply branding. So I'm, we're working on something. Emergency, I'm trying to buy the the limited polishes, but it won't stay in the bag and I can't check out. Uh, oh, alert, alert customer service. But uh, email them please at support at holotaco.com. And if you're looking for a quicker fix, then I would suggest trying a different device. Go on your phone or your computer, try a different browser and see what happens. Could just be a bug. It's a little bug. Crap, I used my one year milestone chat when you canceled it. I'm sorry I missed it. There's too many of you. <laughs> I already have five mugs, but we'll definitely buy Hollow Taco ones. <laughs> I think there's some of you who would buy literally everything that has Hollow Taco on it. Like, it doesn't even matter what it is. Like Giovanni said, it could be a, a fucking pillow. I'm, you'd buy champagne if it said Hollow Taco on it. I would not be a person you would ask to pick what is a good champagne to drink, though. So I have to keep this in mind because I, I want to put out good things that people actually want, you know, and that most of our audience would be interested in. Like, like dish soap. Yeah, Mark, I think, uh, I think we should release some dish soap. I think most of the audience would purchase. What do you say? Maybe like 80% of our returning customer would purchase a hollow taco dish soap. You know, it's a, uh, it's soap you can wash your dishes with, but it's hollow. Could be good. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah, totally. I'm an expert in dish soap. <laughs> glow in the dark dish soap. Did I just see glow in the dark dish soap? That's wild. There, there's ideas, so many ideas in here. Hollow taco deodorant? Okay. What would it smell like? It could, it could smell like, um, like lavender or something. Like it could smell purple. Yeah. I'll go to a deodorant manufacturer and I'll be like, Hey, I need a purple deodorant stick that smells like purple. Can you do it? And the exterior is hollow. <laughs> a metal enamel pin shaped like a hollow taco bottle, but leave the inlay empty so that the customer can fill it. Oh my God, that's actually such a good idea. What the fuck? <laughs> Someone write this down, Ben, write this down. I mean, I do worry about people filling it and then it not looking the best and then being upset that they ruined their pin. So I'd have to consider that, but uh, so interesting. What a good idea. Moscato is a good wine. Also, I'd buy the heck out of a matte hollow taco mug and a hollow car decal. Like the whole car, like wrap the whole car. Thank you, uh, or sorry, auction off your nail peelies, joking. <laughs> I could, we could, uh, instead of doing VC funding, I could just sell my nail peelies. Possible open-ended pull. Maybe the Facebook group to vote on stuff, the mug sticker, yes, we'll buy it all, but I understand supply and demand. Yeah, there is a difference though, between when we've in the past, we have surveyed people about like, would you be interested in this? And then people say yes, or they hit notify me, but then like, just, you know, obviously that doesn't necessarily equate to the same amount of people purchasing. So we have to consider like the reasonable test afterwards, like hollow taco X deodorant. <clears throat> I'd probably do some investigation and be like, is it reasonable that most customers would actually be interested in this product? <laughs> 
Give us an instance. <laughs> I finished my royal inspired Manny and went uh, and want to share the discovery that got cake on top of party one purple is scrumptious. Oh, of course it would be. It's purple. Suggest hollow taco cat ears. I did look into that at one point, but um, it did not turn out to my quality standards. So, yep. Clear polish. It's great for glitter placement and decals. Clear polish. But it's weirdly hard. It is hard to find at drugstores. Like, you're totally right. And I have used clear polish when I'm doing a glitter placement. But, like, the proportion of people in this customer base who do that is tiny. So, I do think you should probably just got to go to the drugstore and try and find one. Vinyls. That's something we are looking into. I hear dad pat. Simply, I hear that dad hats are making a comeback. Really? Wow. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at our sales of the dad hats. It's incredible. We're... The dad hats are just popping off. Look at all these dad hats. Wow! Oh my god, they're available in three colors. Look at this one. This one matches me. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up your purple pink dad hat for the full look. Like this one. <laughs> this could be you. This could be you, happy looking fabulous and uh you know posing like a simply or a band <laughs> this could be you just saying <clears throat> you can even match your manny to your dad hat isn't that amazing look how amazing this is with this particular bundle it's incredible i mean it also kind of matches the royalty polishes and the nail file incredible wow did you guys even know our picture was on the website of course we'd buy this stuff. Some of us pay to watch your cat sleep and watch paint dry. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, that doesn't mean I'm just gonna release anything, okay? I wanna make good shit. Good shit, respectfully. Okay, I hear there's a bingo, so let's play bingo. Who did this? Someone in the Simply Analogical Discord made a bingo. So shout out to Baroness Bonquette. Baroness Bonquette. I will grab the link and share with you guys. But at this stage in this chaotic stream, we've gone we've gone way off the rails. Okay? Where you guys are just suggesting iconic things like vacuums. Okay, I'm I'm gonna ask the team next week on Monday, what do we think about making a holographic vacuum? Totally expect high sales. Great sales. Yeah, let's invest a lot into uh, manufacturing and sourcing and uh, resource. Just, just to you sell the vacuum. Yeah, um, I'll make that suggestion on Monday. <laughs> Great ideas have come from this launch. <laughs> but now, let's play bingo. So every launch, some incredible members in the Simply Analogical Discord servers will put together a bingo where they, they do it, I know nothing, and then they try and guess what I'm gonna do on stream, and then we see who gets bingo. So I've shared it in the chat. So shout out to the Discord crew oh my battery's out okay i do have the cutest desk vacuum <laughs> thank you lauren <clears throat> all right let's play i'll put in the chat one more time bingo card menchie licks her bed did she lick her bed menchie she was here in her little princess dress i'm so mad i didn't get her a picture of her before she ran away. Please make your nail oil pen refillable with a clear window to see how empty it is. Wow, these ideas are so great. I wonder if we've already considered them in production. Okay. Uh, I don't know if Menchie licked her bed. Blue is orange? Uh, no. Purple is orange. Duh. I'm not gonna get that one. Ben doing something nice? Always! I mean, like, he bought this. He bought $90 macarons. Okay? And then, actually, no. He did something awful. What, what am I saying? The cork went off and hit me in the head. <laughs> Simply sips her tea. Oh, oh, this should have been in the middle. Data slides. I did not do as much data, but I described the data. Does that count? No, it doesn't count. It would have to be a slide. 
NDAs, I'm asking you right now to make sure that uh, you put all the NDAs in the chat for anything. There was data? What did I share again? Oh yeah, there was data. <laughs> well, I'm like, what did I do today? Oh my God, it's the, it's the beverage for me, okay? It's not me talking. Hi guys. It's the morning. How much champagne have you drank? Big up. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Why does it like taste better over time? That's weird. It's 2 p.m. now? How'd that happen? It's not morning anymore. Simply pulls chat on top of selling. Yep. Susan, always. That's a guaranteed square. But no, Neil, only Susan. Susan lives in our hearts forever. Sophia. Was Sophia here? I don't think so. Sophia. She's here in spirit. I sent her her royalty polishes. You know, Sophia's always on the PR list. Simply ask, what do you think? Always. I'm always asking, what do you think? Mention of the April 1 hummus. What hummus collection? We we didn't we launched nothing on April 1st Skelly wears a crown. No, I wore a crown Okay, it's 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 mine. I'm not giving him I'm not giving a dead guy my crown. It's mine Justice for frost and metals always simply starts a pull. Duh Menchie is dressed up. Yeah <laughs> Menchie was so cute for like a whole five minutes Makes fun of royalty name suggestions, yes. Okay, and there was way more than what I showed you. I just scrolled to G for one of the six shades that were in the prototype phase. And uh, that that's all I could show you. There was too much chaos, you know? There was also people who wrote like full on paragraphs in the shade name, like, what are you doing? Oh, what? <laughs> people wrote like stories in the section where it said, please recommend a shade name. They, they wrote a story instead. And I was like, I don't think That'll fit on the label, but thank you for your contribution. <laughs> Don't eat the nail polish. I feel like I say that every time, correct? Guys, this is looking good. I feel, I feel like I'm gonna win. What's, oh, I didn't say it. I didn't say what's on my other hand. Why no green, I mean, I did touch on that. I explained that the data said, purple frost metal top, green foster metal, Clearly the lowest on all measurements accounts with all three methodologies Green frost metal was at the bottom. That doesn't mean that we're anti-green here. Okay, believe me I will consider it at a later date detective discord summary. Yes. Shout out to the mods bingo I got bingo Bingo Fanny packs who, who wants fanny packs you and and the seven dads in the chat? Can I lower free shipping? Uh, pff, I wish shipping companies and couriers would lower the cost of shipping. So I'll ask them. <laughs> Simply's computer does not crash. Let's go. I figured out the problem. So my computer is not crashing this time. Chat reminds Simply to close the poll. Nope, I, can, I did that myself. Xyler's a no show. <laughs> Xyler never shows up to stream. He's like, I don't, I'm too cool for this shit. Goats in the chat. There's literally a goat in the chat right now. Okay, all right. I got bingo. How many people got bingo? Good job, everybody. Shade story over shade name? Mm, what does that mean? Double bingo, you got double bingo, triple bingo, quadruple bingo, full card bingo. Does that even make sense? Can you promise a different frosted metal in the future? I cannot promise anything. Yeah, and I, I do too much promising. That's my problem. Is that I always tell you things and then other shit happens and I'm like, fuck, shouldn't have said that. <gasps> Zyler, hold on. We have a king. A king is in attendance. <laughs> Can I hold him? <laughs> you know, yeah, he's very lazy right now. Ooh. Hey, yeah. King. Oh, he's stuck on my shirt. Hey, King. 
The king is here. Look, look, it's your people. Chat. Your king is here. Please bow down. You smell something. Okay. Oh! <laughs> the king has jumped off. Where the macaroon? They're over there. Do you want to take them before he? Siler. Siler, you want to sit? Uh oh, he's he's literally going for the macarons. Macarons, Siler. The macaron. Only va. He smells them. Yeah, yeah. He found them. He found them. He found them. Hey, no, 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 no. No, he's gonna knock it over, Ben. Ben, get it. Hold this. Okay, I'll hold this. Siler, nice toe beans. Nice toe beans. Look, it's the same color. It's splendid. Delicious. His heart's beating. He's all excited about okay. the macarons. You should put him down and take the macarons. Okay. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He did not like that. He's, he's mad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You want to just take them? Where am I putting? I don't know. In the in the kitchen. What are we doing? Please restock Zyla. I know, man. I'm telling you, it's my fault that Zyla's been on stock for so long because I choose the most annoying glitters to restock. Like this this wouldn't have happened if I picked more boring pigments. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Whoa! Oh, he just went under my chair. Now he's looking for the, the ghost of the macarons. Yeah. I love that Zyla looks like he has a heart on, yeah. He has a heart on his front paw. Boy, what are you doing? He's lurking. <clears throat> All right. As a final conclusion to this wonderful event, I would like to thank you, customers. We appreciate you. We appreciate all those who've shopped just once, and we appreciate everyone who shopped so many times that now they're in Hollow Royalty. And uh, they helped to design these polishes that we just released, and it was such a fun experience to watch the excitement and joy that they had in contributing their ideas and being invested in the process so that the ultimate output is because of them for them. And yeah, couldn't do this shit without you guys, so. That, that's what it is. It's the Simply Sock moment. Wait, wait, hold on. Did you know? <laughs> Did you know that this royal cape is also a sock? I'm a sock. I'm a royal sock. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the best. Shout out to the customers. Shout out to the future customers. Shout out to the longtime customers. Shout out to Hall of Royalty. Shout out to the mods. Shout out to the warehouse. <laughs> Shout out to Menchi, Zyler, my family. Shout out to your families. Shout out to your fluffy family members and everyone in between. We thank you for this incredible moment that has been the launch of Hollow Royalty Limited Edition Trio and our first ever customer appreciation sale that is on until end of day Monday. So you have from now until end of day Monday and the Hollow Royalty polishes are still in stock. Shout out to the supply chain, warehouse, everyone for making sure these are still in stock. <laughs> we did that, we did that for you. So if you're watching this later on VOD, I mean, I don't know if you're watching this in like a year from now, then maybe that's not true. But if you're watching this within a reasonable time after, the polishes are still in stock, but make sure to follow Hollow Taco on all socials to stay updated. And I highly recommend if you're interested in picking these up, you do it during the sale so you can get whatever else to get free shipping in your cart. And um, you get other stuff on sale. Hints for next lunch. What is this? What do you think I'm just a beacon of information? You think I'm just gonna spill everything because you ask? A... You'd be right. That is what I do all the time, isn't it? Um, the next launch. It's time. 
the, it's time for the next launch. It's, it's been a while since I've done something, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna do that for the next launch, and that's all I'll say. <clears throat> all hail Royal Salt Queen! Thank you, Tiana! All right, everyone. Sincere thank you to the mods for, you know, moderating the wild chat today. The Holotago Detectives, everybody. I will see everyone on Wednesday. We're doing more gaming. We're playing a really disturbing game, actually, that most of you probably will not be interested in. <laughs> We're playing a very disturbing game called Franbo, and it'll be episode two on Wednesday. <laughs> Shipping for Holotago starts Monday. Starts Monday and your points get awarded to your account after shipping starts or once uh, fulfillment is happening. And yeah, I think that was it. That's it. Thanks so much for this out. Thank you, Laura. I wish there was a physical store since you don't ship it to my country. Ask, do you have friends in other countries? I hope everyone has a wonderful royal weekend of painting your nails. Purple, obviously. The theme is purple. <clears throat> Thank you for your time. Thank you for attending this royal trio coronation. And uh, I will see y'all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>